Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Sunday Night Takeaway. And as you can see, I have got a great panel with me so far, and it will be growing as the show goes on. Um, so, guys, how are we all keeping? Have we, have we ever had a, a good weekend? Well, I know Yeti yes, he's had a great weekend of watch along football. I've been um, I've jumped in every now and then whenever it's a chance to. Yeti, great show you did over the weekend. So we're yeah, man. Yeah, it's uh, it's good stuff. I didn't get the first game. Newcastle smashing spuds, and you know, I think we gave them a false sense of security last last week where we made them think they was good, and then Newcastle <laughs> kind of brought them down to ground. And uh, yeah, it was good. Uh, Forest game weren't that great. We got a two-two draw, but mm. you yeah, know, we went two-one up, and then we sat back again. Whether that's manager or whether that's players, I don't know. Could but be. I'm not happy with it. Not happy with it. At no, all. I know that. Yeah, I mean, funny. I did ask some um, Spurs fans if they'd like to come on the show, but I don't know why. But they just declined. <laughs> yeah. No yeah. idea why. Basically, um, they're, pro- they're probably polishing their trophies. Oh wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's well, yeah. <laughs> Need to get the extra shine on the wood. Probably applying the Cupronol. <laughs> yeah, indeed, mate, indeed. <laughs> Just uh, what it says on the tin. <laughs> Foul at the last hurdle. <laughs> Jack, welcome back into the show. Good to have you back, mate. And uh, yeah. yeah, I mean, you, I can see you just, you're just trying to contain that smile on your face. What a result you had today, mate. Mm. Mm-hmm. Unbelievable. But I didn't expect it because. When I saw Liverpool got battered by Atlanta in the week, I thought, knowing Jurgen Klopp and the way he is and the way them Liverpool players are, I've heard the word mentality monsters used for them, right? I thought they would, what's the word I'm looking for? Show a, show a response to that. I'd be yeah. like, that was just a blip. But turns out it wasn't. Our defence was, very, to be fair, it was quite comfortable. I think we had a few good chances in the game as well. Um, when Robinson when Robertson cleared that one off the line from Mateta, mm-hmm. literally two minutes after we'd scored, I thought, here we go. This is it's going to come back and bite us, isn't it? And then he had another one in the second half where Allison got a fingertip to it from about three yards out. And I thought, this is setting up to be a, another one where we're going to bottle it again. Um, but no, we actually held on. And mm. to be fair, it w- I don't think we was under like massive, massive pressure where it was like trickling across the line and stuff like that. I thought our defence handled them quite well. Adam Wharton again, star in midfield, was very comfortable for a 19-year-old. Um, and to think we've got six or seven injuries as well, I mm. think we've done all right. Glasner's mm. done all right with players that aren't his yet. No, it's good. No, it's good. I mean, like, you know, uh, and again, we're seeing more cap- capitulation from Liverpool. Like, the old wheels are definitely falling off as we get near to the end. It's, um, it's a 10-year it anniversary. 10-year anniversary since um, we done it to them last time. That's true, yeah, from, that's true. From the 3-3. <clears throat> so, it seems mm. to run in tens for us at the minute. Wow. Wow. So, we'll come back to that anyway. And Fuzzy... Um, well, yeah, you ain't had a bad result either, really. <laughs> I mean, the result, look at everybody else's results, makes me feel a bit better. But, you know, let's like, stop it around the bush. It was it was diabolical. <laughs> it was absolutely <laughs> diabolical. But, you know what? If in the grand scheme of things, it's, uh, you know, everybody else has diabolical weekends. I suppose we can share the pain. But it lightens it lightens the load on me and see how I don't have to bear the brunt of the shame. But uh, it still doesn't change that, you know, maybe maybe our manager will be out the door very, very soon. And I think if he had lost this game, it was quite probable that he would have been. Yeah, I think there's a lot of people saying that as it's, it's most likely it was going to happen. And maybe it still does, I don't know. Because uh, there's conflicting reports between people saying, yeah, no, the Ineos don't like him. They want somebody else in. That's their choice. And then there's the other lot that say, no, no, Ineos, they're all on side with the manager. And the manager says so as well. Like, everything's all roasting the carton. But I don't, I don't know. I don't know. There's both sides that have got points to be believed. Points to be believed. But uh, as for the game on its own, uh, to me, thankfully... We didn't end up losing it, even though we deserved to lose it. But yeah, not 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 good at all. 
Yeah, really, really well, you might be able to go past Old Trafford and pick up, pick up Ten Hag on the way when they both get there. Uh, let's talk to the people in the chat first of all. Big ups to uh, the disabled team. Hope you keep them well, mate. Good evening, everyone. Henry Ray. Uh, happy Emirate, even though what a shot day for football. 36 days until more effects off, hopefully. <laughs> uh, big up, Lenny Room. Big up, brothers. Let's say hello to each other. Uh, big up to Dave, old school gunner. Uh, go and see this man's channel as well. Good old bloke. Evening, the legend, Mama Flossy. Hope you keep him well. Good old bloke. <laughs> good old bloke. Good old bloke. <laughs> <laughs> oh, spiffing chap. Absolutely. You know that. Uh, big up to Jez. I'll be more. Big up all. Hope I can join later. Of course you can, Jez. You know that. He's getting well, pissed in the meantime. <laughs> yeah. He's proper pissed off. I don't know about pissed. <laughs> Uh, big up aces, Xhaka getting pissed off, pissed off the winning title and Ford it and bottled it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what a turn. What a turn. How the season ironic. in today and shitty city get the walk of shame. Well, if they win it, we've only got one team that's got to look at themselves. Mm -hmm. Say like we it's all right, though. It's all right, though. You'll, go, you'll get on people on Arsenal fan TV that will be saying, it's all right that we finish second. Because if City get their chances, <laughs> we'll get... get Get given their charges, we'll get given the title. Yeah, you know, the usual. Mm, mm, mm. Uh, big up Moss, all three road. He'll finally Portugal. get some stars if that happens. <sighs> mm -hmm. <Imagine> that. <laughs> I bet you someone mentions it on one of their fan cams, though. I bet you. Oh, I've, I've just watched a few. I've seen that all the titles not over yet. Stop getting so uh, this, this, that, and the other. I'm like, well, the way your fans was in that grand, you deserve the title to be over. You don't deserve anything, to be fair. Yeah. Oof. Yeah. Didn't I didn't see this bit myself? Absolutely disgusting. Class sack from the Fulham fans with our youngster getting oxygen on the pitch and stretched it off, and them singing this as a library. Rank out of order. Mm. Yeah. What mm. happened to him, Tony? I'm not too sure, mate. I, I didn't actually get to see it myself, so uh, hopefully Hammer it will uh, fill us in with a bit more information. Do you know there, what player it was? No, I'll have to have a look was up in the old thing. Do you know George Ersey? Oh, it could have been, yeah. Because he's uh, 19, have a look. 19 years of age. He's uh, probably one of the younger guys. Yeah, I, I, I heard it was a head injury. Hmm. If I'm not mistaken. I, I didn't watch it, so I don't know. No. Yeah, not, not much. Yeah, he I'll came on for Antonio. I think he came up for Antonio. <laughs> and got subbed off again. Got yeah, better George things to do than watch a shit West Ham, West Ham team, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look, Jez is seriously pissed off. Disgraceful behaviour. Yeah, sounds like it. Come not, cut me having that. I'm not surprised that Jez is pissed off. To be honest, I'd be I'd be fuming mm. as well. It's exact yeah. copy of last year. Yeah, exact copy. I you wonder what's going to happen in the coming games now, because I don't yeah. know if there's going to be this like bounce back in getting everything back on the rails again. Mm. Got no, Bayern, they... got Bayern yeah. again. I don't, I don't. It's, I th they've, I think they've it got to play Spurs as well. Yeah. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Spurs, yeah. Won. yeah. Spurs will want to definitely put the nail in the coffin of like. Of course it will. That's it now. Of course it will. Mm. Yeah, because I mean we've still got to play Liverpool as well ourselves as well as Man City and Chelsea yeah. and yourselves, yeah. Jack. We've still got to play you as well. I think you'll be right next game. Don't worry, you'll beat us because we we beat Liverpool and we'll think we'll be able to beat everyone, but we'll get. Let's beat. see, you're done there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll get beat. The thing, is, the thing is, Liverpool didn't have a lot to offer today, but what they nope. did have to offer, you fizzled out really easily. Yeah. Um, it's very similar to the game against uh, Liverpool against us, but mm. unfortunately we didn't finish our chances, and yeah. they gave it to them at the end. But, yeah. Liverpool's, Liverpool's capitulation started against United in the FA Cup. Mm. Ever since then, they've been iffy. Mm. Yeah, I don't think they've been great all well. season, to be fair. Uh, so, got El Tel Cockerell. Good evening, gents, and uh, Tony and gents, and all in the chat. Yeah, big up, mate. Yeah, oh. no, it's, it's been a bit of a mixed bag over the last couple of weeks, isn't it? There's some of the results. Did you hear the, the stat that um, <laughs> this is the 20, I think the 27th time or the 21st, the 27th <laughs> time that Liverpool went 1 0 down in a game? Hmm. Every wow. other time, every time they've had to come back, and that's 
shows that you're not good enough in defence, doesn't it? Tinder Ninja. <laughs> Trying to do a Fergie. Because he, 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 his team in the last time that he won, or in his last season, kept going down, oh, conceding the first goals and having to do comebacks. But Managed to win a title how, off the back of it, but... Shows you how good Fergie was as a manager, though, when you're winning titles with people like Alex Butner at left-back. <laughs> Tom Cleverley <laughs> in midfield. And, and Tom Anderson. Cleverley, so... Yeah, it shows you how good that... The bloody-mindedness of that of Ferguson got you through it. Danny Welbeck, Chicharito Hernandez as your backup strikers. Yep. Wow. Seventy year old Michael Owen. <laughs> Near forty year old Rio Ferdinand. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, this over this earth is okay then. Obviously, seeing what happened mm. with this, Clyde and Elvis fucked the back of his head on the ground, taken straight to yeah. hospital. His debut as well. Oh, bloody that hell. sucks. That's, That's mad on your that. debut as well. Isn't it? Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. Big up AFC always, embarrassing. Several and fifty fifty million pounds spent, bottled back to back league titles. Give mm-hmm. Unai Emery that amount of villa, then we'll see who's the better manager. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like the better I team. think we saw who the better manager is. We know the better manager be is, but the better team who would who would achieve more. Yeah, but we, yeah, we saw who the better manager was today because he changed it yeah. up and then yeah. Arsenal had no answers. He, he, he pulled he pulled Arteta's pants down. That's what he did. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, Joe. How you doing? Uh, Ace is asking, "Where's Bristol Rovers fraud? Let me have you." He's um, hiding you... under the plate at Nando's again. <laughs> <laughs> Nando's. Uh, well, he's actually come out, drowned his sorrows in the pub, and there he's going to watch you be forty. Mm. Boy, I oh, thought it was Boy George. It's Boy George. Boy George. <laughs> Boy George. Boy Backed George. Up Boy, Boy Zone. Yeah, well, feature, I mean, after after feature, that, um, after that from Arsenal, he's got to be sitting there singing, "Oh, do you really want to hurt me? <laughs> 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 do you really <laughs> want to make me cry?" <laughs> <laughs> Followed up with, uh, "There's a rat in my kitchen." <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's when he's watching Mikel on the telly. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I think it says a rat in the dressing room. Oh, is there a no. is there a is that is that concert that he's going to or whatever is that also featuring the village people? <laughs> <laughs> probably, yeah. probably. Because well, that's what uh, yeah, was doing on the sidelines. I can what? see, <laughs> uh, yeah, I can see Anthony doing the YMCA <laughs> <laughs> with his leather pants on or his chaps, whatever. <laughs> oh man, cowboy hat. This is not a good start. Oh, look at that. We've already conceded more than this season than that entire last season where we finished bottom half. We are knackered and I'm fuming with the club. And Moyes won't have an effecting bench. Yeah, that's our biggest problem. I mean, I think you're in the same position as well. Yeah, you, with your bench, is not exactly strong, is it? Like ours, ours is weak. Mm, I mean, we've got plenty of players because, like, we signed 300 when we came <laughs> up. But, you know, it's just not plenty of good players. And yeah. many, I think it's more down to the tactics, to be honest. It's what we do when we get in the lead. We just sit back. I hate it. I hate it so much with a passion. Mm. Yeah, it's not good, yeah, is it? I, I think, mean, like, I you think, know. <clears throat> I think that the uh, forest management and board and that were playing for F- F- FM24. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't mention FM24 because Jez is like the fucking guru manager at the minute. Of <laughs> the guru. Oh, uh, yeah. I, 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 he only I, I played really it well. twice. <laughs> 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 Select the team 30 nil and 13 nil. We're the legends. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Hey, evening, Tony Neri. Hope you're keeping well. Good to see you. Uh, okay, from the prick losing us the title. Yeah. <laughs> I think this one's going to. I mean, um, you imagine being an Arsenal fan there. You know, it's going to be the banter bus all week and the week after. I wouldn't go to work. Oh, I'd man. fucking hate <laughs> to be an Arsenal fan regardless, to be honest. But, you know. <laughs> I couldn't say anything anywhere if if, if it wasn't kissing ass on the internet because otherwise I'll just get hunted down. I'll have, pitch, I'll have pitchforks and torches outside my front door. Yeah, fuzz gate out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, uh, to be quite honest, if I was an Arsenal fan and seen the way that some of them act, I'd be I'd have the biggest ratio of serial killer killings. <laughs> uh, it wouldn't be a good thing for me. Yeah, exactly. I mean, Dan's saying here, I told people as soon as anyone lets City their top place back in the business end of the season, they can wake up by to winning the league. And then I think today is um, definitely kind of put that there. Uh, what's he saying? Mm. P45 sounds about right. Uh, 
That's what happens though with Arsenal. When your manager cares more about his hair dye than the the players on the pitch, mm. what are you going to expect? That's what I'm saying. He's like, yeah, I think his favourite band is the Village People because he's always doing this, like, mm. like on the <laughs> Wait, side. He's trying to land them planes, isn't he? He's trying to land yeah. them fucking planes. <laughs> Oh, I'll take yeah. him to the airport. Stay. Yeah, then he'll, be, he'll, he'll get a good job with you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. We, need, we need people like that. He's, conduct, like that. he's conducting the banter train. That's what he's doing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, dear. I mean, even old, look at yesterday, even Burnley's getting results. I mean, you know, it's a draw, but even still, they're still kind of getting results, aren't they? Yeah. Mm. But again, I think that the Zerbies are not halfway out. Well, he is, isn't he? Because he, he came out and said he doesn't see his future at Brighton or whatever. Or, or he said, I'm going to sit and talk about my future and all this. If you were staying, you would just put that dead. But And then there's all this talk isn't there, of him getting the Manchester, maybe getting the Manchester United job. But I think that's going to Southgate. Oh, so, mate, he's Southgate all the way. Oh. Yeah. The British, <laughs> the British boys, the British element. <laughs> if Southgate don't get the job, then Fuzz has got to change his bedroom completely because he's got yeah. pictures of Southgate everywhere. You'll have to get rid of the fact that the, the uh, Southgate bed sheets. Mm, yeah, <laughs> and your underpants. Your underpants <laughs> with uh, Southgate's face on the front of them. Scrubgate. <laughs> uh... <laughs> what excuses wow. did the club have post-match? Pitch wasn't too long, was it? Too windy? No, probably mm. that they played in Europe. <clears throat> yeah, he always goes on about fixture congestion. More, I've had, I've had enough. Yeah, yeah. I mean, when I saw the, the when I saw the <laughs> team sheet brush. today, um, I thought myself, <laughs> boom, boom. Yeah, we're not going to do well in this game. When I saw the team sheet, I must admit, so I, I didn't see what the um, team West Ham team was. To be fair. Uh, big up Chris, Meta that. Football TV, big up good people, do not feel bad. Spurs lost too. Yeah, that's very true. Mm. Yeah, you got to... Yeah. Uh, they didn't just lose, they got absolutely battered. They, they got, got smothered, didn't they? Uh, that was a repeat of last year as well. Mm. Mm. At least they, got they done didn't... Five. <laughs> At least they didn't concede all four in like five, ten, fifteen minutes or something. No, they managed to stretch <laughs> it to half time. <laughs> <laughs> they actually spread it out. <laughs> it's, it's, it's progress, guys. Maybe it's yeah. process. Yeah, guys, I'm big only Ange last said, time. Line. Yeah, la- last time. Yeah, last time they got what was it? Was it five in the, f- the first half? It was, wasn't it? This time yeah. they managed to at least get to forty-five minutes, and mm. they drew the second half nil-nil. <laughs> mm. See, the thing is, like looking at what we put out today, we're going to put the same thing out on Thursday as Happy and Merritt says. It's going to be an embarrassment because, yeah, two 0 down against Leverkusen. Uh, did well to hold on to the game for 80 odd minutes of the game, but yeah, Leverkusen are not champions for nothing, are they? At the end of the day, yeah, they're good yeah. sides. They're good, yeah. yeah. The final, final, yeah, but that final, that last goal was it about a minute to go? That I think was the killer because yeah. we're at one nil. You can think, well, we could do something, but when it's two nil and it's like in the final kick, you think, ah, oh, and then there's going to be that immediate crash down. The players would probably go away. Even though they lost, thinking if it was one nil, oh, we can do something with that. Mm. But now you've got to score three at the yeah. London Stadium, so not going to be easy. Not going to be easy. Was it was it was it <clears throat> second leg at the London Stadium? Yeah. All yeah. right. Yeah. So you never know. You never know. No, you never I mean, I think, know. I think that's what Moyes was hoping for to go out there, defend, draw, come back. Even if it was one nil down, come back to the London Stadium and hopefully get it across the line. But now two nil. He, he's uh, he's bowing play. out then. He's yeah, bowing I think, out. He, I, I that's think he's massive he, for you. He guys. is. I think he's out for another three or four games by the looks of it. Mm, yeah, I mean, yeah, there was kind of rumours he did some training during the week, but how true that is mm. is another thing. But yeah, he's a massive loss. It Absolutely. depends what Absolutely. training though, because Elise's only just come back for us, and he's been training for a good couple mm. of weeks. But it was sometimes it's just light ball control and things like that, rather than yeah. full training. So. But, Bo- Bowen's doing that uh, training where you get the bubble bottle and you've got the thing <laughs> for blowing the bubbles. That's what he's doing at the moment. Yeah, bursting every single one of them as he does it. <laughs> <laughs> Tony, uh, I bet you're so... hoping. I bet you're hoping that the Leverkusen players turn up pissed. Well, you've got to, <laughs> to win in the league. You've got to, haven't you? It's over. You know they've won the league now, kind of thing. I mean, obviously this is icing on the cake, but yeah, hopefully they'll take a little bit of a step back. Especially when they think they're 2 0 up and they're, you know it's going to be over and done with. 
Jesus, I didn't realise they'd won five nil today. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm yeah, right over the line. But thirty-two uh, minute hat trick. Well, yeah, twenty-two we... minute hat trick. Wow. Did really well. Daniel is saying my team got his pants pulled down for ninety minutes by Newcastle Spurs. Might as well just for future games at St James's Park. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you clubs, you mate. was there, bitch, mate. To be yeah, fair, it's like sure. you going into a prison room picking up the soap. That's what you did <laughs> yesterday. Is he definitely going at the end of the season? Well, yeah, it's it's still up in the air, Stu. But um, I think Moyes, I think more than likely Moyes will walk than than get pushed. I think you know. Uh, Meta football saying, "Oh, you lot are making it sound so much better." Oh, of course, <laughs> we always do. That's what we, that's what we do. So uh, Shane, uh, he has to. He actually reckons an offer is on the table for him, and he doesn't feel the love from the fans. No shit. Who's that, <laughs> Moisey? Yeah, Moisey. To where? Well, no, no. I he, think he's he's just going to walk. He's he, you know they reckon you know it's possible he's going to walk. Oh, it's, oh, you mean offer on the table from the club? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Doesn't feel the love from the fans. Well, I mean, it's not a all one... about love, mate. No, of course not. Well, it's one minute's a one-year contract, then it's a two-year contract, then it's down to something else, and yeah, you know, you just got. To, don't then it's a go home do. and don't come back contract. Let's hope so, Jack. Let's hope <laughs> so. Who do you yeah. want to replace him, though? Yeah, Southgate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, stop you know. off, <laughs> give him Stop away. offloading your manager, Fuzzy. He's yours, you know that. Stop. <laughs> what about Cooper? What about Cooper? <laughs> He's been Morris? sacked, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's when. Yeah, mate, he's sacked. Yeah, he's part <laughs> of the reason World War Three is about to happen. Well, I mean, obviously, there's but. there is talk of uh, you know <laughs> Potter's in the in the in the background, and there's also what's his name? Um, oh, bloody old name's got to have to tip me tongue. Pot, pot, Potter refused the Ajax job, didn't he? But I think I would refuse the Ajax job to be fair. Hmm. Well, after after you've done the the madness what you did at Chelsea and that, I think you know. <laughs> I've yeah, got to say yeah. that I think he was better at Chelsea than Poch has been at the minute. Yeah, but he, I, he I ain't, think he I think you might get Arteta when he gets sacked from Arsenal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll have a swap around. <laughs> uh, good evening, JPT. Keeping you all Chelsea. Big up, guys. A weekend full of surprises. Props to Alonso and Leverkusen too. Big up, Absolutely, keep it real mate. Chelsea. Yeah. Met us saying South London massive up the Eagles, my neck of the woods in it. There you go. So <laughs> that one close to you as well. Hey. Uh evening Pepsi Pack. Liverpool gave it a go and tried while Arsenal done F all bottle jobs. I like yeah. <laughs> I like his That's new picture. picture. <laughs> yeah, be careful, Pepsi Pack, because Liverpool fans might nick that bottle. So <laughs> <laughs> Oh bloody hell, look there. We also lost Maverick Penas as well today. Wasn't fit yeah. enough to play after the knock on Thursday, but like a bench full stat. No Paquetta, no Emerson, no Bowen. Did mm, Paquetta play bad. today? That's bad. Well, did Paquetta start today or was he injured before? Um, let's have a quick butcher's match because I'm not too sure. Did he actually start? That's, they're, they're massive losses there. Or yeah, he did. Definitely made. Three players. No. He did start. But he didn't come off the bench. But he didn't, he didn't come oh, yeah. off the game, so he must have played the full 90. Yeah. And Emerson was played the full ninety as well. Yeah. Unless they're not match fit, like. No, no, because the pair of them got themselves a yellow card, so they're basically. Um, oh right, yeah. They're out for the game. Oh okay. Mm. That's what that's yeah. all about. Yeah, both got you know, <clears throat> and stupid fouls as well on Thursday. What What do you think? To... What do you think about this thing I keep seeing on X with these stupid fucking reporting twats that think they know everything? Uh, saying that Man City are on the verge of like sorting out a deal for Paqueta. I mean, because to me, if you're you've got 115 charges or whatever you've got, you should have a transfer embargo. Because if you don't, then if you add that, then at least the teams would want to get these things sorted out. Mm. You know? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to take on that because obviously, yeah, there's there's that. The... You know, you've got them saying that crap, haven't you? And then, of course, mm -hmm. then there's a talk of, like, you know, it's apparently it's a done deal, £80 million. And mm -hmm. I don't know if I Phillips is part yeah, of that's that. That's tapping up. That's tapping up. <clears throat> that's Players, what I said. Managers used mm. to get done for that. Yeah, of course. But we was, just... was going to do Chelsea for it. Mm. When, when they tried to get Elise, we was going to take them to court about it. So, mm. yeah. 
So I don't know yeah. how they know all this, you know. Mate, they're just fucking idiots. They have a fort and they see the gas and there's a name in there and then they put it on fucking social media. It's pure guessing, mate. It's pure guesswork what they go, what they do. They mm. give one word about it and they think, oh, well, I'll, I'll get a story out of that. No, exactly. I mean, obviously, as Stu said, the disabled team, I think if you really did have a contract on the table, we were signing it just to pee off the fans. This is why I think it's nonsense. Let's hope that's the mm -hmm. case. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Fonseca, that's the one I was thinking of. Mm -hmm. Connected with Stead Tyne and the and City, oh, what's yeah. coming to the Prem. That would be a nice, yeah, a good one. I, I mean, I wouldn't mind Thomas Frank. I like Thomas Frank, but yeah, there is talk of uh, Potter in the background as well if, if they can't get this Fonseca. Hey, same as when I read that thing on X from that West Ham Central Bonads um, talking <laughs> about you're going to get MGW for 40 million. Mm. We paid thirty four million. Are we going to let you have him for forty? Come on, give us a break. You know what I mean, Jack. Where are you from, mate? Because uh, mate is asking where you're from. Are you Palace? Uh, I'm from Morden. Oh, yeah, well, I was, you... I was born in Tooting. Yeah. So, so you literally, so... you you know, you literally on the doorstep, aren't you? You literally on the doorstep. It was yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, it's my <clears> uncle. <throat> I'm not like some Arsenal fans who live up north. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> hey, because the players might still be drunk going into Thursday's game. That's your only hope. Yeah, I know, mate. Let's hope so. Uh, I know Kieran and Titch have the same thoughts. Yeah. Paquette is so frustrating to watch. Greedy with the ball. Tricks and flicks in their, their half and losing the ball constant, consistently. 85 million to reinvest is decent. So if that is the case, we'll take that. I'll tell you what, it comes to something when you want only chance you've got a win in a game is if the players are drunk <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> that is madness yeah you can just see it now spiking the team's water <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh man shits <laughs> yeah, it's be Gary, speak Gary Lineker's everywhere yeah, <laughs> yeah you'll have to do you'll have to do lasagna gate again Tottenham mm. lasagna oh, game. You'll have to that. do that for. <laughs> I mean, obviously, yeah. yeah you, 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 watched, you watched the game today. Um, how bad was Arsenal bad or? Yeah, well, I mean, I saw the first half. I thought the first half was all right. I actually, thought Zinchenko's balls over. Uh, <laughs> Zinchenko's <laughs> balls. <laughs> I didn't know it's Zinchenko's balls. Not anyway. the Yeti. Uh, and, no, well, they belong to uh, Ben White, obviously, because he lives with him. But anyway, um, yeah, he kept putting that left ball over the top and Abbott's kept getting onto it. I thought he did all right with that. But then it was like, you know, I went to get some more beer. So I didn't see the rest of it. And then uh, obviously, uh, you know, Emery shows that he's actually a tactician and he knows what he's doing. And he changed it up and Villa just completely took over it. Just completely mm. took over it. And and the thing that fucks me off the most, and it really does fuck me off, because I can't go to the games at the moment. When I go, I sing like a mother. You know what I mean? Mm. I am gone. Mm. But, I mean, them fans, 68K, 68 million fans, never sung nothing. Didn't wow. do anything. You've got to be the 12th man when yeah. you're on the way to winning a title. Absolutely. We're the 12th man and we're on the way down. You know, yeah, exactly, right. it's bizarre. The 68 bizarre. million fans, I mean, Jesus, it's a lot. It was, it <laughs> no, I say 68 million. There's <laughs> <laughs> yeah. an awful lot of fans for, 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 a, for a library set. Yeah, they were, yeah, they were, cute, they were cute. Yeah, I say 68 right. million. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. 68,000 even. Arsenal fans across the world. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> 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 Daniel saying uh, yeah, yeah. Villa hit the woodwork uh, twice before Daniel they said. even scrolled. Yeah, okay. So they did deserve it then, basically. It yeah, it's like true. They were... mm -hmm. One of them, yeah. one of them, yeah. one of them was so unlucky. Tillemans. When Tillemans hit a shot off the left-hand side and it hit the bar and then went onto the post and came out. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking, oh, yeah. it's going to be like a, it's yeah. going to be a smash here, a smash and grab. Mm -hmm. But <clears> that's no, what they, I was thinking. They, they... That's what I was thinking. They they done well, Villa, in the second half. Because mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I don't know when you went to the shop. Was that at the start of the second half? I think it was uh, half time. 
Yeah, uh, so when... I've missed all, I've missed most of the second half to be fair. Yeah, but when 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 you was out and like Villa came out of the second half and you could tell that Emery had either given them a bomb in the changing room or mm. he tweaked something mm. tactically because they came yeah. out and they was on top. I, think I, I, I would say he tweaked something corners. tactically, to be honest. <laughs> Sorry, I'm laughing at yeah, that. Yeah, he did. Keep kill. <laughs> That's class. That fun. Look at that. Off to Barcelona. <laughs> <laughs> that is class. He's on the they first can do easy better than that. Out there. <laughs> Cooper's on his way there. Thanks, man. Thanks, man. Like the channel sub and all that good stuff. And obviously, don't forget the other two as well. I mean, obviously, Jack hasn't got a channel, but yet, yeah, don't forget Long Ears, Yeti Cave, and obviously, Hot Fuzz 44 as well. Please, guys, Thank make sure you, you smash a like for these people. Let's, and obviously, the uh, scoreline. Yeah, football himself. The scoreline looked easy for, looked all right at our, on Arsenal, to be honest, because Villa could have mm. easily won that 4 0. Quite easy. Oh, yeah. Hitting Definitely. the post twice. And even Watkins one was unlucky the way it bounced out. They could have mm. easily hit the inside mm. the post and gone across, but it bounced out. So they could have easily won that 4 0. You know what? I tell you Arsenal... what, you know the Watkins goal? Yeah. Saka mm. needs to learn from that because if he'd have done that against Bayern Munich and just chipped it over the keeper the way that Ollie Watkins did. Brilliant, absolutely fucking brilliant. Yeah, it was a, and we mustn't remember, we mustn't forget that the only <coughs> striker, the only player actually to score more goals this season than Ollie Watkins is Haaland. Mm -hmm. Ollie yeah. Watkins is second in the, the scoring list this, yeah. this season. Yeah. I don't think he's that far behind Haaland either. So no, no. He definitely deserves his chance come the Euros. So looking at that though, Jake, would you say that? Ollie Watkins will be a wanted man during the summer. Back in a sec. All right, mate. Yeah, <clears throat> definitely. But I, I don't know who from, though. But it, I suppose it depends on what he's getting at Villa, doesn't it, really? Yeah, If of you're course. going to be the main man at Aston Villa and you're going to be in the Champions League, the only teams in front of you that are in the Champions League would be Arsenal, who could do with a striker, but they're after Tony, apparently. City have got Haaland, so they're not going to need another striker, really. Mm -hmm. And then they've got Alvarez behind him. And then yep. the other one is Liverpool, who could <laughs> need a striker. <clears throat> but if I was him, I'd stay at Villa. Why not? Why, why leave yeah. when, you're, when you're doing so well and you're the main man at Aston Villa in the Champions League, where they should be, that club? I think it's his first, yeah, it's the, you know, players. the last couple of seasons, it's been his best, best uh, goal-scoring career yeah, we so was, far. We was... When we signed Eze, we was after either Watkins or Eze. I so I, I love Eze, but I so wished we'd got Watkins. <laughs> but then I, so so, I think at the time though, Jack, Eze was the better player. I'd yeah. say that you know, at that time he was a better player. But and yeah, what, Watkins what, has gone on. Watkins is nearly thirty. So he's mm. he's he's not got the same longevity left as Eze. So, yeah, possibly. Possibly. So, so I mean Pepsi he, saying here Watkins, Watkins is is an Arsenal fan, so when you look at that, mm. but he he, he was celebrating, <clears throat> and actually w when he was walking away from the Villa fans, grabbed the corner flag and held it like this, and was like leaning on it and like celebrating. I'm like, mm. you 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 say you're a fan, but you're taking the royal piss, mate. <laughs> <laughs> See, look, as Daniel said as well. Yeah, Watkins going to get a big move this summer. I think so. Well, you know, it'd, it'd be interesting to see because, as you said. More than one club needs a striker. Um, you know, if he, if he gets if he gets a big move in the summer, he deserves it. You can't say he doesn't. <clears throat> you can't say he doesn't deserve it. He's been on form since he's really since he's been at that club. He scored goals, so I actually want to see his scoring record at Villa. I want to see what his goals per game is. Interesting, because <laughs> I'm just looking on on Sky Sports. Of course, you've got the great, you know. One that thought that they're going to win the league in Paul Merson. Now he's actually said, like, you know, mm. it's done now. It's over and done with. Yeah, I, I agree. And he's saying but, that yeah, this season... Arteta picked the wrong team. Hey. He, he says, I yeah, Arteta so picked much, the wrong team. I don't know so much about the wrong team, but the substitutions was baffling. When you're yeah, taking off the guard, who's been near enough your best player this season, you're bringing on Emil Smith Road, who's hardly had a game. Mm. What are you expecting? 
No, it's very true. King Mikkel, Terence, are you going with him? <laughs> <laughs> you never know, Joanne. You never know. <laughs> uh, Villa are a smart club as well. They will get top money for him as well. Yeah, absolutely, Dan. That's true. They don't get Anthony. mucked off, Villa. Sing it, Fuzzy. Red, red wine. No. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you were, Anthony. Hope it's going well. You're enjoying yourself. Hope you have a good time. Yeah, we'll, we'll say, yeah, so made three changes to his side following Tuesday's 2 2 draw. Zinchenko, Jesus, and Trostard replaced Kivior, Jorginho, and Martinelli. Yeah. I don't know he, what, what Villa done well is they got people on the ball, like proper ball, ball players, not like little flair players. They have put, put players in the midfield who are good on the ball and could spread the passes. And wasn't gonna get passes intercepted if you know what I mean. Mm. They had a pre had a proper system, and we saw us we saw um some of that system in the first half because when Watkins hit the post, it was on it was on the break. So and, and what's his name? Gabriel had made a mistake. So they was in the game always. Arsenal did yeah. dominate the first half, but there was glimpses for Villa where you're like, if they go in at the longer this goes nil nil, the more it's going to suit Villa because Arsenal have to get three points, and it did suit them. This is the thing. I mean, just looking at some of Arteta's comments, two very different performances. The first half was superb, one of the best halves we have played against a top team. It should have been three or four or more. Arteta said, "Would you agree on that?" No, no. no <laughs> they didn't have four chances. They didn't have four chances. They had one chance from Trossard mm. where. Um, Emmy Martin has made a set, made a save. Apart from that, they didn't really have a chance. Saka bent one wide, and then mm. they didn't really force Martinez into a world class save. Apart from that one from Trossard, they didn't have. Did they? Yeah, you didn't have four or five chances. Nah, but I mean that one from Trossard was straight at him. Nah. Yeah. So I mean, he, he added on by saying we didn't put that score line up and, I, and did reflect that second half. We lacked momentum. We didn't have the flow we had in the first half. And we conceded two very, very poor goals. That's your fault, mate. With your with your substitutions, was mm-hmm. terrible. Yeah. Why Why are you taking Odegaard off? Who's probably been one of your players of the season, and bringing on mm-hmm. Emil Smith Rowe, who's had ten minutes? Because he was panicking, mate, and he didn't know what to exactly. do. Exactly. And then that was that was for me the biggest panic sub when you're bringing on Eddie and Ketty with ten minutes to go, even though it's not his fault. But no, no, he's, not, not, he's, not, he's not. He's not. He's not. He's not going to score your three goals and turn the game around. The worst thing was, was the the way the game started. I mean, why change the old system that you've been using mm. all the time and putting adverts back at an eight? You know, yeah. I mean, why not just keep it exactly the same? Because when you get something that's working, you keep it going if it's working. You don't change why? it. Yeah, why, why drop out like Jorginho and that? That other defensive mm. body in midfield with Rice for a more attacking mm. midfield against Villa, who have proper ball carriers and ball players. Exactly. I called, yeah, I called it right from the start of the game. I said that the the biggest issue was going to be down the left hand side with Zinchenko, with Diaby running at him, Bailey running at him, and stuff like that. It's always going to be the biggest problem. And Gabriel didn't look right from the start to me. I said it to no. Jez on the on the uh, webcam. On mm. the fucking watch your fucking thing and whatever it's called. <laughs> but, um, yeah, that is, yeah, watch along. Uh, I mean, I only do them, like, for fucking, like, seven and ten hours, but I forget what it's called. <laughs> but, yeah. um, you know, I said it then. I said that Gabriel just don't look right. But that don't help yet, you, when you're having to cover the missing Ukrainian. It, well, yeah, exactly. <clears throat> exactly. I mean, it's just... I mean, look, I, I will say that some of the... Uh, Passes. I do think he's a good passer. I do think he can see something as well. I do think as an eight, he might be able to do a job there. But again, you've got that defensive side of his game as well, which is just non-existent. He's a midfielder. He's not a left back. I agree. Totally. He's, a, he's, a, totally. he's not a left back. He gets exposed by anyone with a bit of pace and, and now, so he gets exposed. Mm. Well, he gets time. exposed by Ben White every night, doesn't he? <laughs> Bailey came Jay. on and Bailey came on and had him on toast. It was embarrassing. It was like a man beating yeah. his son. 
Wow. Yeah, yeah. It, it was, exactly. it, he yeah. had him on toes. There was one where they was running down the wing. Bailey was Bailey had the ball. There was Inchenko and I think Havertz was alongside as well. Bailey just quick, you know, when they put their foot on the ball, stopped and turned back. And he sent both of them, one of them to City, and he sent the other one back to Chelsea. And I was like, oh <laughs> yeah, my God, you are old. so embarrassing. Yeah. <laughs> You're embarrassing. Yeah. But these, <laughs> these fans saying, oh, you can we can still win the league. Is that a, is that a performance <laughs> of champions? <laughs> Uh, that's true though, Jake. I mean, I'm just looking at some of the other comments that are there. So it's where he's kind of deflected off himself here. You know, credit to them in the second half. We were a bit unprecise with the ball. We weren't able to do what we did in the first half. In the end, we lost it. So we have to congratulate them on the points. When you're at this level, you have to punish them. It's not like you can do that for 90, 95 minutes against a top opponent. But whose fault's that for not buying a striker, well, mate? This, this, well, this, yeah, this is exactly. what I'm saying. Yeah. It's, you're just that? kind of... That's, the, Why that's him trying to be flexed. Why five million on Kai Havertz, who's not a striker? Mm. Well, yeah. what, what's the point, mate? That's that's your fault, and then that's your fault for I'm making the midfield toast. unbalanced. <laughs> <laughs> that's your fault for unbalancing the midfield, mate. By yeah. putting an attacking midfield against the ball playing side, you're going to get found out. I, I, one thing I will say to Pepsi Pack is nothing makes you feel bad enough to want to be a Man United fan, man. Come on. I love it how Fuzz is sitting there silent, just accepting, <laughs> accepting, <laughs> accepting it. <laughs> Trust me, when, you, when you've lived a life filled with pain and watching misery and embarrassment, <laughs> trust me, it becomes numb. <laughs> trust me, mate, I've been there. He, he's comfortably numb. <laughs> yeah, comfortably numb. <laughs> So when we start with it's, if we start winning trophies again, I'm just going to be uncomfortably numb. Gonna You're going to be on a permanent piss. <laughs> You're going to start feeling the the numbness going away. What do you mean? You pain. want a Carabao Cup? Mm. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. One hundred percent. Fucking hell! What more do you want? Fuck's Jesus <laughs> Christ! I would love to win a Carabao oh. Cup. <laughs> I'd I'd love to win the Tiger there, Cup. There what is, fucking look, Spurs won? Yeah, look, the disabled the team is he's saying uh, I second that yeah. Yep, exactly. <laughs> uh just a little thank you to Declan Rice for switching off at the back post for Bailey's goal and not being I quick enough that. there. Mm. I thought that because when you when the ball came across you see Declan Rice like scrambling to get it, and I think, well, why was you not marking him in the first place? The, th the thing the thing is though, the thing yards. is with Declan Rice is he works so hard throughout the game. When he yeah. makes one mistake in a game and everybody keys it out. You know, I think it's a little bit out of order because, I mean, that guy is just shores everything up. Mm. And he needs help in the midfield. And he, he hasn't got that. Without him, they'd have El Nini. Oh, well, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I'd, I'd, even, I'd even play him over Averts, to be honest, because he just does the simple things I, I and he does I the things that you need. I can't diss El Nini. He is quite a steady player. I don't really, when he plays well, so you don't see him make a catastrophic mistake. No, no, he just does simple stuff and passes mm. it to the better players. That's what yeah. you want. Nothing wrong. I'd have him. Why not? Mm -hmm. I'm just reading, obviously, you know, when you look at like Liverpool against Hughes, Jack, I mean, obviously, uh, Klopp's saying the first half was absolutely not good enough. We lost conviction for the last game, and that's basically against Atlanta. We concede the goal, which is a horrible goal. A completely free player in the six-yard box. That cannot happen. Yeah. Hey, well... Mm -hmm. It's, in the eighteen yard those. box, as they mm. in the eighteen yard box, as they had about five yards of space around him, and I'm like, come on, why why were the Liverpool defenders basically on the goal line? You get yeah. out and press the player so he doesn't have the chance to have a shot. But no, it wasn't, exactly. He's saying like a horrendous goal, but we completely carved him open for that lovely one mm. touch football. Well, yeah, oh, yeah, it was awesome. It was awesome what you did. Today. It? it was a lovely yeah, that, no doubt one touch. About we that. we, it was we awesome. For our goal, we, we completely mugged them off. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I think we deserved that goal. We deserved the second one as well. When Mateta I thought you tactically, you tactically did them. <laughs> I mean, I've never seen like Liverpool like standing outside the box and passing it backwards and sideways. Yes, they had 84% possession, but Liverpool fans like to go this, oh, we have all the possession, but you lost a fucking game. So what was the fucking yeah, well, point? 
Possession don't win your games, lads. Of course you well, don't. Well, no, no. You, you've seen you that don't. with Arsenal many a time. They've always had tons of possession. Doesn't mean they're always going to win that game. No. Yeah, no, Liverpool had them. Liverpool <laughs> had 20 <laughs> shots today. <laughs> they had 20 shots, but only seven was on target. Wow. We had mm. eight shots, but six was on target. Yeah. So we hardly had any possession against Fulham, but still beat them. Yeah, it because at the end of the day, it. you can have as much possession as you like, but you've got to put the ball in the fucking onion bag. Exactly. That's what it's all about. But I think he was right, yeah. Too. We, we was forcing mm. Liverpool to put crosses into the box, and that was meat yeah. and drink for our defenders, because Liverpool don't mm. really have height, especially when they took mm. Nunes off. That's all the height gone, pretty much. Gakpo's yeah. not really going to body someone to win a header. Mm. So... That just played into our hands. Keep keep the crosses coming, boys. Yeah, yeah. Well, wait, wait. Seventy three percent possession. Still yeah. four 0 Yeah, still yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, exactly, exactly, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Would you take uh, Jesus for free? Um, I don't want Jesus. He's not very good on crosses. <laughs> <laughs> um... <laughs> I know this one. I know what Yeti will say here. Yeti, Jesus, or I will even eat. Jess. Uh, we're doing oh, one e 100%. Exactly. He's better at crosses. Mm. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> he's, 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 he's much better. I mean, it'd be nice if he weren't on the injury bench all the bloody time, but, yeah, it is what mm. it is. I mean, just going on this comment here, Joey and saying, I'm just lost, to be honest. I think there's a lot of Arsenal fans tonight that are in this same position, and it's a case of, you've been here before. <clears throat> we yeah. saw the same thing last season, and... I suppose this season they must have had more belief that because it's so it's a free horse race, it's so tight, so close that this We've result is really favor. not the soften. Yeah, yeah, you have yeah. indeed, Jack. But same We've as we did favor. last season, and they bob yeah. they bottled that as well. But and that's it. But you know, to lose the game two nil when you think you've done them a favour, but still, yeah, no, it's mm. in carbon. I said it earlier on, didn't I? Carbon copy of last year. Yes. Yeah, exactly yeah. the yeah. same. You know, I said to you, Yeti, in your chat, I said the longer this game stays nil nil, the better it will be for Aston Villa, because mm. uh, yeah. Arsenal have to yeah. get three points. Yeah, and now they've handed the impetus to Man City. Mm. So I reckon it's. I reckon it's, City uh, ain't gonna blow it. City ain't gonna con- blow it. I reckon it's a conspiracy theory between a uh, Pep and. Pep and Arteta, mm. you finish second, mate, because you was number two to me. You finish second, and I'll finish first, and we'll take the lead mm. by storm. I, I'll be honest. I'll be honest with you. I enjoyed it so much because it's like you know, I've got my main Arsenal fans that I want it for them, but I don't want yeah. it for the prick Arsenal fans that just talk utter shit like AFTV mm. and all that kind of stuff. And I want them to fail. I want Jez and, and all that lot to actually progress and yeah. get something good. But, you know, so, I mean, I was I trying saw... so hard not to grin on the on the fucking stream and, and just <laughs> I, think, I think Jez, yeah. I think Jez would have strangled you through the screen. <laughs> 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 but, but, no, I I will already seen one Arsenal fan, and we all know who he is, um, Pratt. But he um, he was saying, oh, this, for the, for the ones who... You want to use this as a thing to say, I'll tear her out. Yeah, grow up, you dickheads. And I was like, how about you grow up and get some standards, mate? Yeah, it's exactly the same as what's going on last year. They've done nothing in four years. No, yeah, but you know what they'll really say, yes, Oh, we won the FA Cup. But it was with the ex-manager's sloppy seconds. Well, yeah, exactly. And, I mean, and then it's... he's had three quarters of a billion pound, 750 mil. Give that to Unai Emery. Mm-hmm. And then you'll yeah. see who the better manager mm-hmm. is. He's yeah, had about eighty percent <clears throat> less of the cash. And let's mm-hmm. be real, he's not really that far behind. What is it? Ten points? Twelve mm-hmm. points? Yeah, something like Give that. Him another but the, but the thing is, Jack. Here. The thing is, Jack. What you've got to understand is Arteta ain't going nowhere because no, Arsenal no. at the minute are bringing money in left, right, and fucking centre because they've mm-hmm. got so many dozy twats who support them and buy all these shirts for £100 and stuff like that. Mm. You know, the money's coming in left, right and centre, so why would they actually go against that? They don't see why they would. They don't want a toxic manager. Well, the the businessmen, the money's coming in. They want someone who gets along with all the players, you know? Mm. 
Yeah, but does he, he get along question. going? Does he does he get along with him? Because I mean, at the end of the day, isn't it? You know, you've got to think it's no use being pally pally because you can see that's not getting them over the line. There's there's two seasons mm. now being pally pally. It's it's not getting what they want. Yeah, I, I think what it is is Arteta's got a dungeon. And they're all in there, strapped up, and all that kind of stuff. So I don't think they'll go against him. Hopefully not in that way. Yeah. Well, I'm, yeah, I'm actually thinking in that way. It probably well, is that. <laughs> if, if you look at Zinchenko and um, and Ben White living in a house together with his missus and all this that and the other, it's obviously a swingers factory at Arsenal, isn't it? Um, well, that's the case, and they should. Um, yeah. Well, that's another story. I mean, I just want to go on this comment here. Into the box. Oh dear me, Jack. Uh, Daniel <laughs> saying the thing is we could afford to get bad four 0 by Newcastle. I'm still relying on United not really taking advantage of that because they are that shy. Mind you saying that, Dan. So as we, every time Newcastle, uh, sorry, Man United slip up, Moyes has got the chance to overtake Man United, and every single mm. time he balls it up. Yeah. Every it's single just... time. That happens, with us. that happens with <laughs> yeah. us. That happens with us, but for 13th place. Yeah. Uh, Pepsi's saying Champions League or bust. Well, if you look at this, could yeah, going to win the Champions League. Your last hurrah, isn't it? It could be. Yeah, Joanne knows. Fifty yeah, Shades of Mikel. <laughs> 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 that's his hair dye. Uh, that's, his, that's his hair dye range. Fifty Shades just... of Mikel. <laughs> And again, just saying big up to Jess at Jess at Y Talks Football Fan Channel. Going to over see them as well, as well as all our panels we said. Pepsi Pep blame Terry. Yeah, I know. Um <laughs> I've I've got to speak to him, funny enough, Pepsi. It'd be interesting to see what his views is now on uh, on his beloved Arteta. Tony's saying our fan base is washed. Clues as well. Yeah, he's crying. He's crying. Yeah, I'll know somewhere. Oh no, no, no! He's, this is he... the this is the brother-in-law, Terry. Mm. Yeah, I mean Fleurs as well. Young, oh, oh, Terry yeah. Fleurs, yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. He, he, yeah. he absolutely, lo- yeah. He has a love story going on with that manager. All together, mm-hmm. there. Can we all bow for Mr. Terry Fleurs? You know, just kind of thank you very much, sir. There you go. Yeah. Thank you. Um, the disabled team also they've heavily He's invested awesome. in Arteta for the project not to work. Yeah, it's true, and you, you true what you said there as well, Jack. Um, Give that money to uh, give that money to Unai Emery, and you'll see a real team. Yeah. Give it to Steve Cooper, and you'll see. A real <laughs> give it to any manager. <laughs> 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 we need to strike in January instead of offering the crap to make funds available. Done nothing. Yep. The thing is, no one wants to buy Arsenal's crap, though. People will mm-hmm. want to buy Man City's crap because everyone looks good in a Man City shirt. Yeah. But when your Arsenal players who are going for the title, not mentioning any names. Eddie, yeah, <laughs> but when when players like that, yeah, but you from, guys wanted him. You guys was going to spend thirty four million why. on NK, mate. Mm-hmm. Mate, this this guy cannot score with Saka and Martinelli and Odegaard, Havertz, all these people. He's not going to score yeah. with Will Hughes and Jeff Schlupp. Come on now, I'd mm. rather have Mateta. Mateta's, even you said yes. He, he is, he is looking good. good. He is looking mm. good at the minute, I must say. He should have scored today. He was unlucky. Mm. He was a few centimetres from having another goal. But um, mm. but I'd rather have him. I don't want him, Kenny. No, thank you. There's a player yeah, in there. Size but... counts of it, apparently. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> The content <laughs> when Kane knocks him out of the yeah look the content when Harry Kane knocks Arsenal out of the Champions League will be elite that would be very interesting. I would be shocked if Bayern do him. To be fair, they should have done him at the Emirates, but got scammed with that handball. So <laughs> <laughs> that's true, Joe. And he really has he has got to do that. I, I think the uh, Bayern Reece Munich Nielsen. game might be uh, really embarrassing for Arsenal yeah. because they there is uh, a grudge there. Uh, Tuchel don't have to do a team talk. He'll, all he has to do is say, we got screwed at the Emirates, go out there and do what yeah. you've got to do. Mm. It'll, it'll go one or two ways. Arsenal will either look at it as we need to have a bounce back here. Yeah, go for it. Or it will knacker their man- mentality, which is common for Arsenal, and they'll get mm. beat 2 or 3-0. I don't think they're good enough, Jack. No. They've been the good enough. They need more but, depth. They need more world class players. Bayern have been shit this year as well, and they still should have mm. beat. They Bayern was should have beat them. 
Yeah. So, well, if you look, if you look at it now, though, the, the pressure's off at Bayern because now Leverkusen's won it. Mm. They're not going to yeah. win the league themselves. Oh, well, yeah, exactly. So they're going to go for the, the Champions That's league. what they're going exactly. for, isn't it? That's, that, and that's yeah. it. So they've got an impetus. And to the go thing for is, at least. they was all twerking like fucking mad bastards, fucking shaking their asses all the way, uh, saying that Kane won't score and all this, that, and the other. The thing is, with Kane, he don't need to score. He's a world class no. player. He can just mm. spray the passes around like what he did. I think his long passes. His long passes are as good as Kevin De Bruyne's. The way he's he can quality. hit the ball he's and quality. ping it across the other side of the pitch, no problem mm. at all. All yeah. round top striker. He Whereas has Hop- got such an all round game. I think he's better he's than better. Haaland. Yeah, his game's better than Haaland. I think Roy mm. King was right when he said that if Haaland doesn't score in a game, he looks like a world uh, a League Two player. Yeah, because exactly. his, his all round yeah. game is shocking. Like, yeah. when do you see him ever hold it up and lay it off to people or spread a 40 yard pass? You know, yeah, different, different strikers, totally different yeah. strikers. Not doubting Haaland's world class, he clearly is mm-hmm. a monster. But oh, when yeah, it's not going right, when it's not going right for him, yeah, he's he's out of the game. They're playing with 10 men. If you, if you mm. play um, Haaland the way that we used to play Collymore where we used to pass it over to him and then he'd just run past everybody, which he did to your team at one point, and he nutmegged one of your defenders, and he took it back again, and he nutmegged him again before he put it into the top corner. I mean, if you play Haaland like that and just keep using him as the point man and keep giving him the ball, then Haaland is phenomenal. It shows but you if that you don't everyone... play him like that, no. That everyone's calling him washed up and that he's finished, but yeah, he's still the top scorer in the league. Well, yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> it shows exactly. you that he is the, he is still quality. Mm. But um, but it, he's been found out a bit now. He's been mm. found out a little bit now. So yeah. now he's got to sort of. And the thing is, if he was in another team, like if if he was in Forest or Palace or whatever like that, Man United, they would use him as the pinpoint. Yeah, and Man City don't do that because they've got too many players who want to be part, want to be the big boys as well. Yeah, and that's kind now, of where now it falls what, down. Now what teams are doing against him? They're literally welding one defender to him, mm. so that he never gets the time and space. Yeah, like the only time he does it is if he has a his movement off the ball is actually is is second to none. Oh, it's some brilliant. of the runs he makes. It's brilliant. Some Brilliant. of the runs he makes and they don't find him. I yeah. I think, how have you not yeah. picked him up there? But um, but his runs off the ball and that is quality. But now he has to use his movement a bit more to get a goal. Mm. Yeah. Whereas before yeah. they could, there would be space enough space. But now they're just welding defenders. He to makes him. some amazing runs. He makes yeah. some amazing runs, and if they, if he was the the main point, like Colin Moore used to be, and they just pass him the ball and this that, and the other, and they'll do what he's got to do. But they don't. You see so many amazing runs that guy makes it when you're watching a game. Well, the best version I've seen of him is Luton in the cup when he scored. Was mm. it four, four goals? Yeah, and, and that was just the Haaland and De Bruyne show. Like, yeah. like they could. They they could literally have just it could have literally <clears throat> just been them two on the pitch and I think they would have scored. Mm. But 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 he like you're right yeah he has been found out quite a bit now. It, it's it's the always the same teams. in the Premier League. You get found out. Look at Sheffield United when they first came up and they almost qualified for Europa League. Mm. Yeah. And then the second yeah. season they got found out and I think they got relegated. So so it's it's. A, so it shows you that if you don't change, adapt your tactics slightly. You've get, got you've got, you, you've got to adapt. Uh, Mark Owen had to do it. Yeah, you know yeah. he had a one trick, and then you've got to go on to having another trick. You know, same as Saka's getting found out now. If yeah. a defender don't make a mistake and put him on his left foot, he ain't got shit. It's the same with Wilf for us when we was just reliant on Wilf Zaha. They've yeah, done yeah. the same. Put two yeah. on him, and then that's it. The game's finished, mm. and it will take a bit of technical brilliance to get us out of it. Mm. But now we've got a you've bit got more to up your us. game. You've got to up yeah. your game, and that's kind of what Caden's done. Caden yeah. has got so many fucking feathers to his bow. Yeah. What he offers. Mm. Yeah. 
But it follows up what you said there, yeah. I mean, Dan saying, yeah, came one of the most complete strokes of the last 20 years. Mm. Literally played the number nine Same. and number 10, both role to elite levels. All he lacked was pace. Yeah. So as Pepsi alludes, though, he's jinxed when it comes to winning trophies. Well, yeah, he, he is massively he is. jinxed on that. Yeah. I mean, I, well, I was we just... Should've... We should have won that year. We should have won that Euros with him up front. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we should have won that. Well, I mean, if I Sterling just... fucking passed the ball, then we would have. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Seems to be a was greedy bastard. Soon, though, he would have. Yeah, mm. yeah. Mm. I mean, I'm just looking at the West Ham team. I mean, he had Danny Ings up top and put Marco Antonio out on the on the left. <laughs> well, mm. That was where Antonio used to play, right? He used to be a winger, no? Yeah, but more on the right though, Jake, not on the left. Mm. But he doesn't yeah, want to. Yeah. He doesn't want to mess he up Kudos out right. position. Mm. He doesn't want to mess up, uh, drag Kudos out of position. We saw this in Fuzz's game against Bournemouth. They had Garnacho on the right hand side and Rashford on the left. Mm. But then he he sacked off Garnacho and left Rashford on, who's been getting three hundred fifty k a week and for having a struggle about. But um, it, but. When when the, some of these players they don't want to sacrifice their position, so I don't know. I mean, you just saying here, yeah, West Ham are winless in their last four home games in the Premier League. Great. Who, who have you played though? You played Fulham today. Who have you, I mean, who you got to play now? Uh, who we got to play now? Oh bloody! Hell. You, uh, so Palace, I think, is the next game. Oh no! Oh, well, you got the. Well, you don't know. You're supposed to be a fan. <laughs> <laughs> I've, called, I've called him out. I've called, called Benitez out. It's quite, it's quite tough I'm back. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you've, so... got, you've got Leverkusen away. Yep. We're not at home. Sorry. Home at home. You've got Palace away. Palace. Liverpool at home. Mm -hmm. Chelsea away. Yep. Luton at home. Their man City at home. Oh. Easy. An easy run. Easy run. An easy, <laughs> an easy run. We, we'll be we've fine. took points. We've took points off both City and Liverpool this season. Mm. You can do it. This well, we've got we've got City at the City Ground, which is going to be an interesting one. To be fair, yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. Payne gonna have the last laugh when he wins the Champions League and Euros this summer. Mm. Yeah, yeah, possibly. Yeah. 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 He needs to win something. I mean, because he's probably one of the most gifted players we've had in England for a long time. Oh, Absolutely. definitely. So he's got to win Absolutely. something, hasn't he? A hundred percent. But yeah, they've got a massive chance actually buying of winning the Champions League. Because I'm just mm. looking at who's left. You've got Arsenal. If they they can beat Arsenal. Mm. PSG, and Barcelona. That's going to be tough. Dortmund, Atletico Madrid. They can win this. They can mm. win that. They can win yeah. that. Not, I think, I think one City's team. going to win it, to be honest. You can't... Uh, I yeah, think City. Kane should have gone to City when when mm. City wanted him and he put in that transfer request and stuff like that. He should have gone to City. That was Levy. I think it was, was Levy that managed to keep mm. hold of him. But yeah. he didn't. Yeah, he didn't. I think that's that. you're right yet. Yeah, you're on that line. It's the biggest mistake he made because they thought, well, Fuck it, we can't get him. We'll go out and get Erling Haaland then. Yeah. And, yeah. That, and then he was stuck. Yeah. So he didn't have another option. Well, there was talk of United buying him, but Daniel Levy would not sell him to Manchester United. No. That would never ever happen. No. He would never sell. No. Uh, he'd never no. sell his best asset to a top four rival. Hmm. Yeah. So yeah. that would be that he'd be when people are going oh we can get Harry Kane I'm like you're not going to get Harry Kane if if City had got Harry Kane it's game over yeah, yeah. definitely most definitely I think he would have been close to the goals Harland has got hundred mm. percent he would have been close 100%. well with the team they had then I mean he would have been fed he would have been gorging with like you know the supply oh of my, you know, yeah I mean, exactly absolutely yeah. gorging I just think in terms of what he can create for other teammates as well. I think yeah, 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 bring, yeah, yeah absolutely. He's hold up play and then bring other players into the, into the mm. fold. You think City yeah. have two or three class wingers in each position, and they're yeah. so yeah. interchangeable as well. No, exactly. He's the, he's the most complete forward we've ever seen in this country. 
He is yeah. the most complete forward. I'm just trying to go back and see if you can think anyone can really think of one. Well, I suppose if you look at what really. he's saying here, there's only Shearer, isn't it? I mean, you know, should have is here. Shearer. He went to Newcastle, should have gone to Man United. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Yeah. Mm. I'm glad he went to the tune though, to be fair. Yeah, yeah. He, he's another Wayne one. Fuck United. He's another one who should have mm. done much more in his career. Not mm. uh, in England as well. Matt Matt Letizia. Yeah. Should have mm. done a lot more for oh, England. He should've 100%, 100%. He should have had a lot more games for England than what he got. Same with Les mm. Ferdinand as well. Mm. I think mm. I think Rooney had the ability to do to have that all round complete in terms of a player but I think there's he as well in certain aspects didn't quite go up to the levels because mm. he, he had the ability to, to back it all up but all the he was too country, busy he was too country, busy taking his energy out on grandma's but <laughs> 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 granny <laughs> shag <laughs> oh, <laughs> <granny laughs> he, he liked having a smoke he liked having the smoke and taking his energy out of grandma Ro Rooney could have been the, the big thing as well Fuzz yeah, is yeah. right there yeah because yeah. he's got an amazing vision he's got amazing vision mm. he's got amazing passing amazing finisher you yeah, know he's so got... they're probably the same in that is that what the grandma's told you not bad. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't talk to the grandmas, mate. I don't know if you do. Yeah. But, yeah. The, the, amount, the amount of hip replacements that had to be done up there is unbelievable. The one but part he... of porn up that I avoid is the grandma part. But I mean, if you go on there, then, you know, all good, all fair play to you. Oh, come you on, everyone's got yeah. that spot. <laughs> you switch off, you, you switch off the channel when you see it, mate. <laughs> I'm gonna smash your back doors in. You, you switch off really sharp, which kind of thing. Uh, then say, I'm gonna here. smash your off right in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Gonna smash the granny out of you. <laughs> oh man, uh, and you're saying, Levy rejected uh, 200 million from City. Levy was never selling in that summer. Yeah, I agree on that. Mm, no, yeah, I think that's why he kind of. Said I'm going to offer you X amount of a week, and that's why he stayed. Do you know yeah, two hundred million didn't... though? Two hundred million. Another reason though that he didn't is because it'd be mad money. He, you mad. know, mm. the top the Tottenham fans' main aspirations is to be a big club competing with the the uh, what's the word the well, the, big the top boys. four that we think. Yeah. So mm. even though they're not now, well, they used to be. Yeah, that was Chelsea, City, Liverpool, and United. They wanted to be within that mix, yeah, yeah. right. You you can't really count City yet because mm. they haven't. They're not on the level of United in terms of trophy wins and stuff. But they're mm. getting up there, yeah, yeah. yeah. But they oh, wanted yeah, to be on that level. Gone. So if they would sold Harry Kane to a United or to a City, the Tottenham fans would be screaming, saying, "Well, what are we not a big club then?" Mm. When that's their yeah. aspiration to be up there. To be fair, Tottenham would be happy if they won a fucking egg cup. <laughs> you get loads of them down the charity shop. <laughs> yeah, I mean they got the Tiger Corp in the friendlies. Yeah, and they got the you know, Audi that, that's the only thing that's in that cabinet. Is they got the Tiger Audi. Corp. Don't forget the Audi Cup. Oh well, yeah, yeah, you got that one as and, well. And, but yeah, and, but and you the, you've got to look at Arsenal Kellogg's winning Frosty's the... one wins that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but you got to think. You got to you know look at uh, Arsenal fans being happy that you know we they won their own cup, the Emirates Cup. Two years, you know, know. very happy about that as well. They thought Yaya Sanogo was going to be the next thing. They had the one the dinner plate Benfica. as well. Yeah, they the did. One the yeah. dinner plate, remember? One the dinner plate, yep. Yeah, yeah. The Toby Carvery uh, 199 <laughs> dinner plate. <Yeah. laughs> they, they, so, they've, they've actually won more League Cups, though, than Arsenal. Yes. The way they celebrated yeah. when they won that dinner plate, though. Oh, oh yeah. my <laughs> days. <laughs> But I think that's how Arteta's doing on that one, though, I must admit. Oh, yeah. my days. Fuzzy, what, what did you think about um, Jamie Redknapp's comment on Casemiro? Oh, <laughs> like yeah. Soccer aid. <laughs> 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 he, I mean, he's taking the it, royal I'll, kiss. <laughs> I'll, 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 give, I'll, give it, I'll give it some light of the day. Because, I mean, Casemiro from last season to this season, last season... I think it was not really beyond anyone's question that he's probably one of our better signings or better performing signings yeah, last season. Transfer it to this season, it's like 
he does look like he's a Brazilian legend who's retired. He's been retired for about ten mm. years. He's been invited to a a, uh, a legends game. I mean, Jesus Christ, it's it's crazy. It's like show. grab a granddad now, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> he had skulls in front of like, him, didn't he? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, he, he might as well have had Ronaldinho there as well, Roberto <laughs> Carlos. You know, guys, I think guys he like had more that. of a chance then. Should have had R9 as the striker on that pitch. He, it, he wouldn't have looked out of place. I mean, his levels have seriously dropped this season. I think it's probably, in essence, that men, mentally, he's he's just so drained. Yeah, he's gone from uh, he's gone from a, uh, a dressing room filled with champions and literally the only language people speak in is winner they yeah. don't speak in any other language you go to united you've got loads of people who act they pretend they're winners they get paid more than the winners do mm. and they don't actually get even close to competing forget winning they don't get close to competing so the the levels of difference between both dressing rooms and you go from one and being quite being a cornerstone for one dressing room, you go into another one and you feel so alone. I mean, mm. cool, we've got Varane and a couple of others that have won trophies elsewhere as well, but it's not the same. No. The culture is so poisonous. It's it, it's quite clearly turned a lot of people into absolute bums. It's more about it's ruined. brand deals at United. It's more about brand deals and looking good mm. and going out on the piss mm. in Belfast. Mm. You know, <laughs> yeah. that, that, that wow. useless don't, product. Don't, don't question his commitment to Manchester United. <laughs> yeah, you know what people it, say that? Care, do it. People go that, yeah, I, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm commi- I'd be committed playing for Crystal Palace. I'd be useless, but I'd be committed. But you actually have to show a bit for your wages, mate. You know, it's not, it's not a love in here, you know. Do you mean he did, he, he committed as in going to prison for how bad you was? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well. young offenders. I mean, he's so uncommitted to anything. I mean, Christ Almighty, he can't go to prison because he, but, but he would never then... be fully committed enough to commit in a crime. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. A sentence for A sentence for uncommitment to committing. <laughs> but mm, those true. clips of him though when the ball's about five yards from him and the player's got it them clips of him jogging though is is unbelievable it takes mm. the right piss I, I'd be fuming yeah but, but he's undroppable I don't know why Tenard took off Garnacho, who's probably been one of United's best performers this season mm. when he was playing in the mm. wrong position mm. and you left him who's done nothing you know why don't you put Ganacho onto the left hand side, hook off Rashford and put on Ahmad or someone? Mm. You know, Ahmad, mm. the one who scored the winner in the FA Cup game against Liverpool. So it shows you he can do it, but you don't play him so, and you sack off Garnacho for him. So Yeah. I mean it's like Daniel's saying obviously uh, it, it, what I saw yesterday, uh, a little bit of highlights and it, yeah, Man United didn't look really good at all. And I see your little stream you did yesterday, Fuzzy. I mean you basically said like how bad it I went. I went some pretty deep stuff, some <clears throat> pretty deep shit on that video. I'm not gonna lie. He had two sugars in his tea got. instead of one. <laughs> I had two shots of vodka in my chocolate, chocolate milk. milk. I was just saying, it, it, <laughs> yeah. was, it, it was double chalk this time. He had double chalk. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He'll be uh, going for a triple oh, chalk yeah. soon. Diesel was punching yeah. the walls right now on his live stream. I bet he is. I bet he must be going absolutely Garrett. He's on another one. Mm. real one. Yeah, Diesel. yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, I mean, obviously uh, Leverkusen winning their league in there, but obviously um, I don't know if you saw in in League Two, the mighty Wrexham. That's where Slapping... Harlem plays, right? right? Yeah, that's the one. That's the one. Yeah, <laughs> slapping Forest Green six nil to be in now in League One. Well, they, no. they've got Deadpool, haven't they? So I yeah, mean, of course. Gone. Yeah, he, he smashed, <laughs> he sliced them all to pieces. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, I mean, do you think was it, was it 14, 15 years they've been in in that mm. league? Now yeah. kind of up and, and straight up yet again. 
fair play. I, to I, I feel like there's something more to that, though. It's not there, 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 there's something more to that. I mean, in yeah. uh, Ryan Reynolds taking over and that, and they've got that reality TV program and stuff like that. So I yeah. don't think they was ever gonna not go on to do something great. To be fair, when you hear Ryan Reynolds, I think, and he was saying stuff like, "I didn't think I'd own a football club until the point where we actually mm. won the league," and I started crying. And I'm like, "Shut up, mate! You're, you're not. Mm. Don't tell me growing up you had Rex and pajamas." Yeah, because, <laughs> because you didn't. You didn't. He had Rex and pajamas oh, and Rex and bed sheets. No, you didn't. When you grew, I'll tell you what. When you grew up, you believed the the country of Wales was literally a country filled with whales. Yeah, he did. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, bordering yeah. on dolphins. The, the thing is, like when he got um, when he got his like interview and his audition to play as Deadpool, he's like they turned around to him and said like. What's your eyes aspirations? And he went, I want to, I want to manage Wrexham Football Club. I want to own Wrexham Football Club. <laughs> yeah, yeah they, I don't they think probably, that was ever the case. They, and they go, oh, what country is that? And he goes, Wales. And then they go, as as Fuzzy said, they got a country named after animals. <laughs> you like, stupid. <laughs> <laughs> mm, yep, no, that's even more about him who's making a few. Mm. Mm. I'm not going to diss him. Look. Yeah, BVB David, welcome in the chat, mate. Good to see you in here. Uh, yep, that's even yeah, by Leverkusen making a few changes. Mm-hmm. Two more years and they'll be in the Premier League. Well, the way they're going, you, you never know, do you? I, I oh, think God, it's 100% going to happen. If it keeps mm-hmm. being a reality TV programme, they'll 100% get into yeah. the Premier League. Yeah, I think it's it's a case of um, Bale. You know, when you look at Rob McInerney, you've got to say his name correctly, haven't you? Mm-hmm. I love yeah. him doing that song. Just say Rob Mech. <laughs> And then, then we know about Rob, Rob, Rob Mech. Mech. <laughs> yeah, Rob Mech. That's what you got to see. But, but I, 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 like, like I said, and yet yeah, he said, it's, I don't think it's just about this, the the game of it. I reckon it's about a lot more than that. I reckon it's about the team oh, money yeah, and all that. They major. don't, like I said, he didn't grow up in Rex and pajamas. That's how it mm. was. <laughs> it, it's, it's all just about the the money and the TV back in America because of his fame. He knows people are going to watch it. He's gonna he's gonna watch this, you know, and he's gonna tweet tomorrow to you. He's wrecked some underpants. <laughs> oh, lovely! I look forward to it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, but they're the old ones. Ryan when Reynolds was... and Rob McEnhilly in either side yeah. of the pants. Yeah, they're the, they're the old ones. <laughs> and if I'm lucky, he'll show me the skids. <laughs> oh, I'm not sure that make you lucky. To be fair. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! Uh, but like I said, good luck to him. Mm-hmm. Just I hope that he's not like with these other American owners who's going to try and make it into NFL or whatever, you know. Mm. And you can piss. Even, even the thing is, it's a reality problem. program, so it's always going to go the the same way, you know. That reality programs always go. So mm. yeah, it's obvious, I, isn't it? I, 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 suppose, well, I suppose the only difference you can see, and there is a bit of, I, I suppose, in certain respects. Some honesty because they got all the fans on. So, you know, at least they did the right thing by going to the fans and, and making them feel that it's still their club rather than mm. it's, it's, it's mine and Ryan's club. That's it. You know, oh, I swear the Glazers yeah. did that at yeah. United. No, the Glazers just kind of took the money and run basically and said, like, you know, the club can have all the debt. That, that was the difference. At least See, the thing is, if, if I was a Wrexham fan, I'd be really disappointed. You know, like when Norwich was playing and Delia Smith came out, come on, boys, let's be having you and all this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd be <laughs> yeah. really disappointed if he didn't come out in his Deadpool um, uniform and say, come on, everybody fucking work this way or you're, I'm going to kill every single fucking one of you. Yeah, then you see a fat, then you see a fat Welsh policeman running on rugby tackling him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're Nick Boyle. <laughs> uh, yeah, so it makes some ownership is Premier League culture. It's got no Arsenal or nothing. Yeah, it's true. Very yeah, true. It's, yeah, it's the same thing. Yeah. Again, Arsenal, Definitely. all or nothing, American owner. No, it's true. Even Tottenham's majority owner, I think, is American. I'm not too sure. Afternoon, though. Lawrence. How are we doing? So, this is Lawrence from Lexington, Kentucky. You're West Good, Lawrence, Western fan. Mate. Good to see you, Lawrence. Hope you're keeping well. Weren't exactly the uh, result we wanted to, to, you know, today, but hey, yeah, we move on. Uh, even Lawrence and uh, hey, Full, buddy, beating Fuller, mate, for everybody, mate. No, oh, blimey, yeah, 
yeah. <laughs> it's true. Uh, Budgie's uh, just come back home from the London Stadium. Doesn't want to talk about it. Yeah. Oh, no. no. You can't well, fly well, away from the problems. Well, yeah, this is true. Uh, Mama, uh, Jay, smash Tone, up the do lights. Tony, do you reckon, Tone, reckon it'll get back to that? Toxicity, you know, when fans was running on the pitch with the corner flag and sticking it in the middle of the pitch, do you reckon it'll go back that way? Be an interesting one, wouldn't it? I mean, um, hopefully, we don't get to that stage, but there has been a kind of resurgence in certain grounds where you're seeing some stupidity going on, so you never know, mate. No, not like so the they'll run like into fighting. the middle and make a bubble. That's what. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't know. By the time time they get out the the chairs, run across that bloody carpet, and then get onto the pitch, they're blown out their backside by that stage. They got. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But like the point, you know, it was that game. I think when he stuck the corner flag in the middle of the pitch, that they was like protesting around. You know where they like where the what's it? Where the, the, where Sullivan, the gold was. Yeah. 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 I think um, because obviously we're you know the Euro, doing the Europe thing. Okay, mate. Uh, where we're doing the, you know we're doing the Europe thing. I mean, I think that's you can say a lot of stuff down. A, a, yeah, a little bit of saving grace on there, but this is where sometimes Moyes lets him down with obviously uh, some of the teams that he puts out there. I mean, obviously today you could say okay, his hand was forced a little bit, mm. uh, and then Thursday we're definitely going to be. You know, scraping the barrel because obviously, yeah. like, you know, having them players out, and if Member of Panos is not going to recover as well, that's another big blow as well. That's why when people say to me, Oh, but you would want to play in the Europa League, yeah, I would for the fun of it, but I think it fucks up your season in terms of like you have to make sure you have a squad and all well, stuff this like is the that, problem. you know, because we haven't got the bench. We no. you, you clearly you look at our bench, our bench is weak as anything. That's that's when the you're problem. bringing on Ben Johnson. Like I'm not being funny, but apparently we was after him. Well, yeah. after him, I don't know why. Honestly, I have not got a clue. I don't think he's a bad player, but I don't think he's Premier League standard. I think he's top to his Championship mid-table upward standard. I this is where think... I think you know because there was supposed to be a contract on the cards for him as well, kind of thing, and that's kind of been you know he's he's turned down a few a couple as well, but yeah. Do you think he's 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 a good player, or do you think he's like benches his level? Well, I don't know because the funny, uh, you know, when he's I'm always played him up in up uh, in the wing, and he wasn't bad mm. defending wise. He's a little bit lost in that respect, but you know, maybe that's an option for him. Maybe but that's why Glasner wants him because our full backs want to push on. Could be, could be that. But, but oh, I don't know. I'd rather put it towards somewhere, someone who can, who will actually impact the squad ASAP rather than having to be behind Daniel Munoz. But yeah, yeah. I mean, it's bad you saying there. It hacked off with uh, the team's performance today, and that's why I think we sometimes we do let ourselves down. Did Fulham dominate the game though? I want to know. Or was or was two 0 look good for them? Well, no, because I've just looked at the stats earlier on, and that we actually had more possession by all accounts. But it, as you said before, it doesn't count for nothing. If you don't yeah, get the it was, result, it was that United mm. reject mm. Andreas Pereira, who's mm. yeah, yeah. Remember, was back to his old ways, not clearing and costing the goal. So that's happened with the first one. Yeah. Thing yeah. is, every United one player one. that leaves United does all right. To be fair, mm. look at Pereira, look at Garner, look at Langa. You know, as soon as they get out of that spotlight, because. There's a big history of Man United with the youth players, you know, the Skulls, the Beckhams and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. And I think there's massive pressure on you as a United player, as a young United player. And as soon as they go to another team, they thrive. Mm. Well, as you said, like, you know, we had two good strikers in Skamaka and Haller. Mm. Uh, Moyes played his way. So they didn't kind of shine, and everyone thought you know they were a flop, etc. But yeah, they've gone yeah. off, gone off to their respective clubs. Mm. Haller, I mean, even with you know getting over cancer, etc., he's still smashing in the goals. So yeah, I, I liked Haller. Actually. I liked him I, as well. Yeah, I liked him. I did like him. But you know, we we didn't play him to our strengths, uh, to his strengths, mm. shall I say? And, and yeah, we're definitely um, we're paying the price because. Yeah. You've seen it before. You have had club players leave on moving to someone else, and then, yeah, they, they they rip up trees. 
But as a team, mm. we need direction. Yeah, no leader, really. Well, he's same as like Mikel like, uh, Antonio. I mean, all of a sudden, he, he kind of went to your team, obviously, from us. Mm. Obviously, mm. we needed the money at the time anyway. I was good to see him go. But, you know, happy for him to get what he wanted. But, I mean, he was a monster yeah. in the air. Mm. And mm. He, he was really fucking, like, pulling up trees. Well, that's probably not the best way to say it. But, <laughs> you know, I mean, it's like, you know, he looked he looked awesome. I mean, yeah. and I've got to say, I've got to say, and I ain't said this to you yet, when you played against us and he was through on goal, that fucking tackle from Murillo. Oh, mate, was, yeah. Oh, mate, that was yeah. off the scale. Mm-hmm. Did, and that's did, where sometimes he lets himself down. Mm. Did Omidy Bobbidi Boo play that game? Yeah, Omidy Bobbidi Boo was still on the halfway line. <laughs> but Murillo's tucker, that Murillo is up, just something else, man. Yeah, big yeah. up Carl, man. All right, Carl. Uh, yeah, cool. That Murillo is just something else. We ain't going to keep it. Away the lads, yes, man, but they were, they were. Oh awesome. man, Go they was class. Yeah, they was they class. Were, they were class. Oh, but she won't be, she won't be very happy when Isaac signs for Forest next season. <laughs> <laughs> A swap deal, him and Chris Wood. <laughs> well, apparently the rumor is fuzzy. I don't know if you've seen it, and that, you know, um, it's kind of through the the back doors and the back alleys and so forth. That apparently, um, that's what she said. Yeah, <laughs> Mr. <laughs> uh, Mr. Rooney. Uh, apparently, um, Ivan Tony could be Man United bound. I mean, I hope so. Uh, I think it's mentioned fifty million pounds. Um, is the fee that I think is being mentioned with that with that transfer link? So, for me, that would be a good all round deal. Mm. Especially mm. considering the prices of strikers on the market this summer. I was say fifty million. It's be, yeah. I mean, conversations. Would you bet on it? Hey, would, mean, you, would you bet on it? I'll leave that to Ivan. <laughs> he, he, he knows the hackers. Come he on, knows don't, the odds. Don't don't get out of this one. Come on. Mm, come on, come on. Are you going to buy some Tony underpants or not? <laughs> I'll buy a Tony piggy bank. That's your game. <laughs> piggy bank. <laughs> piggy bank. <laughs> <laughs> well, it'd be quite ironic when you think about it. You know, they're going to get a new manager in Southgate, and then suddenly Ivan Tony's playing for England and I Man United. He, mm. I think he's going Arsenal, mm. to be fair. Arsenal need a striker more. Apparently, they're not going to go for him. By all accounts. So they're useless dossers then, because what, what are you doing? Gabriel mm. Jesus is not going to score you the goals, mate. Who yeah, I don't think Carter could handle a Tony. To be no, honest, no, I think I think Tony's a like a bit of not not a loud character in that way, but he's not af mm. afraid to say what he thinks. You know, yeah, exactly. Like, like he said in that yeah. interview, didn't he, when he came back? Oh, I'm going to stay with Brentford for the rest of the season because I owe them for sticking by me. But but he but he did mm. say we'll see what options come around in the summer. So yeah. That to me shows a player who already is wanting to move. I see him at Tottenham or Liverpool. I know he's like a lifelong Liverpool fan. I don't know though, because like with Darwin Nunes and that, there you'd be pushing him out of the squad, even though he's shit. But yeah, he's but I mean, that's what I mean. You, I'm sorry, but I mean Darwin Nunes. I see a lot of good things in him. I think if he went to another team, you would actually see the qualities that he's got. But mm. Liverpool, he just doesn't seem to be able to cut it. And no. I think they will probably, when Klopp's gone, I think they'll probably take a different change. And I think they'll probably, like I say, Spurs or Liverpool, I think we'll get Arvin Tony. Don't or Forrest, because obviously we're bigger than all of you. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you go by Budgie saying it would be a great signing, but this is West Ham we're talking about. He'll end up at Colchester United at this rate. <laughs> well, you, yeah. you want a one year. You I want the yeah. one year from what I've heard. Mm, there's that well, rule. Yeah. You think? There's, well, you yeah. can go on your medical you bench want... instead of ours. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you, you wanted about... Eddie and Ketia. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, well, Eddie and Ketia as well, yeah. Is this have you when I become slide Anthony out? Herbert, have you, Fuzzy? No, he's just he's sending me messages. Ah, 
Send him threatening messages, you tell Tony <laughs> this. <laughs> Do you know what? Well, I've, I've heard Budgie talk about Inketir all the time and the way he rates him and stuff like that. So I'm sure Budgie would like out. to have any Inketir. <laughs> but, the, yeah, the, the, but, but you've got to think about when Klopp leaves Liverpool, I don't want Liverpool fans to do it. They won't expect success straight away, but it won't happen. It'll take a rebuild and all that stuff. And all that transitional period. It will take all that. Because mm. I don't think I don't think there'll be another manager who will get the respect straight away that Klopp did with them players. Mm. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Do you know what I mean? It's like, going to be a massive job for the next manager. It's, but the next manager is supposed to be that Sporting Lisbon coach, isn't it? Amarin or whatever he's called. Mm. Well, apparently he's come out and said no. Apparently he's not he's going to get nothing. He's not going to get the respect Klopp ever did. Let's mm. be real. And half yeah, but the thing is, most yep. Most YouTubers, and this is what YouTubers are like, is they read that, that, um, that this guy's, uh, you know, on the verge of signing. They put their videos out to get all the fucking views and all that kind of shit, you know. And then he turns around and says, well, Fuck I've off. not even <laughs> spoke to Liverpool. It's got nothing to do with me. Yeah. And this is something I never do on my channel, where I just talk absolute shit about when <laughs> somebody turns around and says something. Mm. No, you have to wait for the facts. You mm. wait for the facts in football because a lot of journos exactly. get things wrong. Yeah. But then on the other hand, that Big manager would never say God. he would. The manager wouldn't say that sporting manager. He wouldn't at that moment say, "Oh yeah, I've spoken to Liverpool," because then that creates unsettledness in their fan base. Yeah, of course. So then, the, yeah. so you can't take really what he says. But normally, if a manager's leaving, they do say, "I'll decide my future after." Hmm. You yeah, but I mean? why like would Deserby why would stuff. you not say that you're going to go to Liverpool? I why guess because he might want to have that? respect for their fan base or something. But I don't know. I, I would. no, because it's big. It's big money, isn't it, to go to Liverpool? Of course. So why would you not like say, you know, just leave it and not say anything? Why would you come out and say that I'm not interested in Liverpool at all? I've got no uh, interest in that. He should have given it the old. Um, I'll decide my future later. Like stuff. What he should have yeah. done is he should have turned around and gone, yeah, I'll go to Liverpool and I'll be better than Klopp's ever been and all them wankers and all that <laughs> people that's been in charge of him before. You know, that's yeah. what he he'll should say, have He'll say, I'm not, Brendan, I'm not the Portuguese Brendan Rodgers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, big up, Steve, see a, a Luton Town fan. Uh, big up to the panel as well. And, did, you um, Doku, did you see Doku's goal, by the way? Oh, mate, that was something oh. else. Oh. No. <laughs> He needs to do that more often. Mm. He literally done about four or five do. of them. <laughs> um, just want to put this one up on there. Uh, Budgie put on the Peach jersey. It was his birthday. So Peach, uh, God rest his uh, soul. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it would have been his birthday this week. Big up, Peach. Sorely missed. Yeah, all right, P, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah no, it's, it's been a, you know, so this weekend, I mean, obviously, uh, just recapping on that, it, um, yeah, it's going to be the banter bus all week for Arsenal fans. Mm. I'm looking forward to watching the fan cams later. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I am as well. <laughs> I, I am. am. I, I'm, I'm waiting for them loading see. like this. I'm looking mm. forward to see what the order's going to be for uh, the good, the bad, and the ugly on Wednesday. Yeah. Mm. I don't know if any. I don't know if anybody escapes being ugly this week. Everyone's <laughs> ugly. Everyone's a fucking ugly bastard this week. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen the there. show, mate. You're all ugly bastards, anyway, bro. You just, you know, you, you, you just have it. to instead of having us us three faces. What you need to do is just edit it so it's just got all three asses. I just draw well, do fuzzy. I'll, I'll just draw a line line on my idiot kind of thing. So you'll <laughs> be already there, mate. It'll be all right. You know what you should you know, on Anthony's one. You should just put like a, like what Pepsi packed on. Just put a picture of a bottle with Anthony's face on it. <laughs> why Why don't you just call the this show this week the ugly, the ugly, and the ugly? <laughs> <laughs> I suggested that. Yeah, funny. Yeah, suggested the two out of ten show. and the ugliest. The two, the two out of ten show. Yeah. <laughs> you have to have a look at the thumbnail, and it'd probably be on the piss. We're all fucking on one side of the actual, of the, of the actual yeah. thumbnail. Oh man, it'll be battle of the eyebrows. 
<laughs> Strictly come uh, by brows. I mean, I don't know if you see what I've been doing with Anthony Herbert there because he's got a big old massive uni prayer going on at the moment. <laughs> Well, Arsenal's, yeah. Arsenal's, uh, Arsenal's, Three bottlers. Tra- Ar- Arsenal's championship <laughs> hope took a U-turn, didn't it? So, I mean, look, looking at Anthony's eyebrow, he might actually be a werewolf. You know how they always <laughs> say, like, when it meets at the middle? Oh, man. Yeah. Because oh. he like keeps us saying to us, what fucking am I going to get this time? I don't know. <laughs> whatever, whatever comes on there comes on there. Can't help that part. I feel, I feel, I do feel bad for like Jez in that though. <laughs> I can't lie, I do feel bad. I, don't, well, I, feel, I feel bad for Jez, but I did kind of enjoy it because it's like when they beat us at the city ground. Jez was loving it, and I wasn't. So yeah. was like today, I got can't to like. Lie. Have that, yeah. Like, you know, here, here you go, Jez. Here's, here's a bottle, mate. <laughs> yeah, a bottle, he was raging, yours. and in the middle of Jez <laughs> raging, this bloke, this bloke just goes, Does this belong to you? Let's have a picture of a bottle. <laughs> <laughs> when he put that up, I died. <laughs> it wasn't even like Jez had settled down, Jez was still frothing at the mouth, and he, yeah, he just goes, Does this belong to you? <laughs> What I like today, I mean, uh, Fuzzy, I don't know if you've seen what Lawrence has put in there for in there. Put the screen of the piano, better than that thing behind you. Um, <laughs> what made me laugh today was, you know, this just shows you how humble our Yeti is. Mm. You know, he had to kind of get angry in that for the Arsenal and that to make Jess feel good. <laughs> yeah, I think, mate, I was angry at the fans, man. The fans are doing my head in. Yeah, it was when, when it came on, and then the fans were just standing there, and yet, yet, he just shouted. Yeah, he's just what like, you What are you doing just standing there for? <clears throat> good evening, evening, gentlemen. How are we, buddy? Good evening, buddy? Mate. All right, mate. Yeah, yeah, good, 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 good. Thank you. How are we all? Yeah, good, good man. Good, man. Yeah, we, we, yeah, brilliant. Uh, all right. I mean, um. Jack up in the corner there, in the top right hand corner, he's absolutely happy because his team did all, did very well against <laughs> Liverpool. Um, oh well, mate, he's... you beat Liverpool, big up, big you up, mm. big yeah. up, massively, <laughs> massively. Yeah. But, uh, as for us, mate, you know, you was at the game. What was it like? When did you walk they... out, Budgie? <laughs> uh, oh no, no! Actually, I, I didn't walk out until the final whistle today. I've got to be honest. Well um, done, buddy. Yeah, no. That, that, to be fair, I thought we played reasonably well for a majority of the game, but there were times when I felt that Fulham just took the piss. You know, mm. they kind of. Yeah, listen. Six points and seven goals against us in t- in two games this season. That's not good news. That is yeah. not good news. Did you go to the right ground this time? Uh, yeah, he, yeah, that was like 28 years ago, mate. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> fucking give me a break, fuck's sake. <laughs> Brilliant. Uh, Brilliant. Buddy, did, you, did you see the, um, Lawrence has put this up? I'll, I'll just put it back up again for you. Um, on. Yeah, put on the peach, it. put on the peach, uh, peach jersey. It was his birthday this week. Yes, indeed it was. And um, sorry, I, I, I will take a moment of um, personal reflection. Peach was a really good friend of mine and a really good friend to a lot of people. Um, you know, I, I I kind of tried to celebrate it a little bit on Wednesday night when I did my old school hammers with Kieran. Um, but, you know, like the pub speaks louder than YouTube, you know what I mean? Mm, yeah. So I have I have actually had a few beers in um, Peach's name, Good but stuff. but you know to be fair, um, it, this isn't about Peach right now. This is about um, David Moyes being an absolute cock, 
Right. Mm. <laughs> Listen. He brought Corne on with nine minutes, eleven minutes to go. He brought him on at the final, wi- like what would have been the final whistle at ninety minutes. And he brought him on with eleven minutes to go. He had, I think, three touches of the ball. That's not the way you want to play a substitute. What you want is a substitute to come on and really change the game, you know. And unfortunately, he keeps bringing his subs on when there is no change. There is no possibility of a change. Mm. Uh, look, I'm I'm not completely Moyes out, but fuck it, Moyes out. <laughs> got to go. He's got to go. Yeah, it's not looking good. He's you know his tactics and stuff. And uh, I mean, obviously Thursday, do you fancy our chances? <laughs> <laughs> oh come on! You got to stop calling me a prick. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, you know what? Actually, I've told so many people today that what are you talking about? We're still in the game. We are still in the game. It's two nil down. It's half time. There's ninety minutes to go. We're still in the game. Mm. Yes, we're going to lose. I think. Yeah. But we are still in the game. So anything could happen. To be fair, you know. Mm. Um, but. In fairness, I got a real horrible suspicion that you know, we go no further. Mm. Yeah. Arsenal was two 0 down, and they weren't still in the game. <laughs> 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 yeah, but Arsenal was shit anyway. So anyway, <laughs> move on, move on. <laughs> they got that shit midfielder. What's his name? Um. um <laughs> Deccan or or, or, or <laughs> Dutton, <laughs> Dutton, or Dutton, 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 I can't remember yeah. his fucking name. Been shit Dutton anyway. Dutton Pasta. No, no, yeah. apparently. Bad that's bad what he did. Bad. He yeah. can't blow bubbles anymore. That's the no. problem. Fry no, well, that's, he, he can't blow no one. <laughs> <laughs> well, apparently that's what he did in the game today. He was, he was Duckham <laughs> Rice, so that, and that's how they got one of the goals yeah. by all accounts. Yeah, Is that right? Apparently so. Yeah. I wouldn't know. Yeah. I wouldn't know. But yeah. So, no, it's... Um, yeah. Apart from uh, Jack up there, who's kind of still got a smile on his face, you know, because of his result. I don't have much happiness as a Palace supporter, so let me have this one. <laughs> <laughs> You're a Palace supporter. Fair play to you, sir. Yeah. Fair play. Great weekend for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, fuck. Nope. Uh, I almost, I almost <laughs> collapsed with excitement. <laughs> <laughs> But, yeah, he's doing well, Luba. I like him as a manager. He's all he right. Europa League winner. Yeah, he so. looks like he's doing all he's right. A, he's fair. a Europa League winner. Yes, yeah, yeah. he, he is. He won it yeah, with Frankfurt. You, ch- you chocolate European trophies. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How many European trophies have Forest had in the last 20 years? Two, mate. we got two oh. fucking stars. What in the last twenty years? No, no, not in the last twenty years. We haven't been anyway in the last twenty four years. Come on, yay. Come on, son. <laughs> <laughs> uh big up Stephanie, good to see you in here. Big up Tony Fuzzy, Yeti Budgie and Ollie. <laughs> and Ollie. Yeah, yeah, big up Steph. Twenty likes, thank you very much. Yeah, I mean after you, I mean you've seen quite a, a lot of changes at Palace with this Glasner. He seems to have kind of um Got and playing some decent football for a change. Mm. Yeah, you know yeah, the, dif- good. the difference mm. is with Roy, it was try not to lose, but with Glasner, it's let's go out and win. Mm. You know, so yeah. you might you might get beat in a game, but you but you get beat and you look at it thinking, well, there was positives in that game. <laughs> mm. Shut up, you. Yeah. <laughs> 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 no, nah, I'm not a tin pot, mate. <laughs> but no, nah, it, it you can lose the game and think, well, do you know what? There was an improvement. Where with Roy, you'd lose the game and think, well, same old. 
Mm. You know, so yeah. and the new guy hasn't yeah. got any of his players or anything, and he's getting results with players that isn't his. So I'd like to see, mm. I'd like to see a bit of cash spent on in the transfer market. Because if if you're not spending no cash on the guy, then you're not backing him, are you? So. Well, that's you true. Absolutely, hundred percent. Yeah, definitely. Well, I mean, I today it, there was do or die. And yeah, that's respectful. <laughs> Yeah, we we. I hope we get. I hope he gets seven hundred and fifty mil like Arteta got. Well, uh, Not a uh, chance. <laughs> he will get seven hundred and fifty quid. We don't get. Yeah, we don't get seven point five mil. <laughs> Mate, no. he's got seven about Croydon now, right? And and Croydon ain't got no money. No. They ain't got no money. Uh, uh, like Palace haven't got any money, and that's uh, really unfortunate because. The manager that you've got now, right now would actually put together a team that could challenge. Mm. I'm not saying yeah. the Premier League. I'm saying they could challenge, you know, Europa, maybe. You, mm. you know, Europa Conference League, perhaps. Definitely FA Cup. Definitely Carling Cup or whatever you want to call it these days. Mm. Palace have got the manager. Yeah, they've got the manager, and they've got they've got one or two really decent players. And like I, I, I I'm I'm not far from Palace's ground. I've got to be honest. Um, I, I should actually be a Palace fan geographically, <laughs> but but you flip flopped. Who are you? I'm no flip flopper. <laughs> My first game was West Ham, Newcastle, 1966. Bobby Moore, Jeff Hurst, you know, um, Martin Peters, they were all there. It was fantastic. That was my first game. But no, joking aside. What was that? 1066? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were there at Hastings. We were there. <laughs> no, but joking aside, though, Palace should be in a better position than what they are with the manager, with the players that they've got. Yeah. I mean, look, they got they got a few decent players, real good players that yeah. I wouldn't mind at West Ham. Yeah. I'm on with you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um but you said it yeah, that Adam is, Morton's class. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. Is. But the fact is that at at this moment in time, Palace have been kind of wavering because of the management that they had in place before. Yeah. Don't get me wrong, Roy Hodgson has my utmost respect. The guy has been around for a millennia, right? Oh, and he's done yeah. he's done everything except for win hmm. to be fair. Um but you know, hey listen, I hope Palace stay where they are, if I'm honest. <laughs> I really don't want them challenging the positions that we're actually going for because mm. with the players they've got they could fucking do it they really mm. could do it yeah. you know that's yeah, very true that's very true yeah anyway guys we're getting near to the end anyway so uh, budget it's great having you on as always um, thank you and right. it's good to hear your input from today's game um yeah not not a good result and um yeah Thursday is going to be even harder I do believe it's that. gonna be it's gonna be a tough one, Tony. The rest it's of the gonna season. be a tough one, but you know, a four-one win will be, you know, fine. And that's what I'm hoping we're gonna get a four-one. Mm. Yeah, but we're missing a few, aren't we? Though, aren't we? You know, Emerson, no Paquetta. <laughs> yeah, true. No Bowen. No, that's right. Yeah, no Bowen, no Paquetta, no Emerson. 4-1 win, is your, is your delusion on. towards the alcohol or is your delusion just because <laughs> you're deluded? I'm just deluded. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I'm fucking deluded, mate. I, 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 have, I have a brain cell that I share with my brother and 
<laughs> and he's got it at the moment. And he's a Chelsea fan, <laughs> but like, so what chance have I got? <laughs> oh, brilliant. Brilliant. <laughs> Uh, lots of just saying uh, thank you Tony and the guys even the Man United supporter great channel covered your eyes absolutely mate thanks Lawrence good for having me in there uh, so Budgie I'll start with you first if you'd like to shake your channel out please sir well, thank you very much the last in first out um, <laughs> love that I love that um, <laughs> brilliant yeah no thank you um, yeah you can catch me on a Wednesday night on the uh, Old School Hammers on West Ham Network um, I do also have my own channel, which is called Green Street Elite. Thanks, um, I haven't done an awful lot on there recently, but that will change very soon. As soon as you lot out there get on to me and you want to come onto my channel. Tony, you're next up, by the way. Thank you, sir. I look forward to that one. I will contact you tomorrow and we will arrange something, certainly. Brilliant. Look forward to that. Uh, thank you. Thank you for the shout out, bud. You're welcome, mate. As mm -hmm. always, you know that. I uh, just want to say, also, the diesel chat getting mad with me for some reason. I only said, trust the process. <laughs> <laughs> trust uh, what stupid. fucking process? The process of booking your flights oh, to Barcelona. <laughs> yeah, North London. I've, I've already got my hotel booked for Dublin and everything. That's all gone out the window. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. Super. <laughs> Maybe Jack. if the Shamrock Rovers are coming to town, maybe you can still, <laughs> yeah. still make good use of that. No, <laughs> Jack, you like to shout what you do, you do yourself, mate. I know you're not got much, but shout out what you got. Jack. 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 Come on, Jack. Jack. Stop jacking Jack. off. Jack. Jack. <laughs> Jack. Jack's off. Jack's jacked off. Yeah, so... Come on, Jack. Give us what you got. <laughs> <laughs> I'm such a cock. Can you actually hear us? Jack. Hello, Jack. Can you hear us, Jack? Jack? I just have Instagram. It's just Jack underscore RCPSC. Oh, he's, he might uh, be really, really delayed. But I, I don't think do he's delayed, YouTube. isn't he? I can't be asked for the bullshit. <laughs> no, it's fine, Jack. So... <laughs> No, oh, he's so delayed. Just... Oh. He's gone. He's gone. <laughs> he's like he's jacked it. off. <laughs> <laughs> that was weird. Oh, well, yeah. Um... See, we're all professionals. Yeah, <laughs> all professionals. <laughs> no idea what happened there. It was working when he was with us, and then. I have no idea. Uh, oh, oh, fuzzy, you want to shut your shut yourself out, please. Oh, fuzzy. Uh, hot fuzzy, hot fuzzy mess. I mean, Christ Almighty, you find me on hot. Ah, that's what Jack, look, Jack said. He's having internet problems, so a bit like anti fest before today. We did one the Jack. That explains it. So you, you definitely didn't hear us just suddenly start <laughs> shouting at him. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, um, you jacked you off, me... Jack. We understand that. <laughs> and Lois, look, you need to screen your people better. <laughs> <laughs> um, Tony, can I give one more shout out, please? Of course you can, mate. Thank you. I want to give a massive shout out to that man down in the bottom right hand corner. Yeti. All weekend, that guy has been doing live shows all yeah. weekend that guy is a legend please 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 subscribe and, and like and share and god to everybody on the on on the panel but please yay thank you sir what a great weekend Absolutely. thank you thank you mate that's why i'm leaving him till last a lot. that's why i'm leaving the 82 last for share his channel where yes sir <clears throat> yeah, you find me, yeah, uh, find me a lot Love, of man. for our journal. Maybe, maybe in tomorrow's show, could be tomorrow's show, you know, 10 hard P45 <laughs> sacking show. I mean, who knows? It, it's out there. I look forward to it. <laughs> <laughs> you, you're going to sit there with some there waistcoats on, I, I can tell. Everyone's I'm, I'm, I'm going to be like that with my thumb over your fucking button all day long waiting for it. 
<laughs> You're oh, thumb yeah. over his button. What does that mean? Yeah, that, for, for yourself, well, you know, that, that's a like, bit weird. As soon as, yeah, all right, okay. All right, fair <laughs> play. <laughs> <laughs> My button is sacred. <laughs> I have no answer to that yet. None whatsoever. I'm done. Uh, <laughs> the show's taking a massive, massive U-turn at the end of the show. That's because you got me on here. That's, that's the way. Oh, that's brilliant. Because I know. turned up. Everything goes arse up, bud. <laughs> Not at all. Absolutely brilliant. Brilliant. Buzz, how many times can I subscribe for your channel? Ask him for a friend. <laughs> Until you can't be bothered to resubscribe. <laughs> uh, <here we> are. <laughs> I'm actually, we've got to give a massive shout out to Mama Flossie. Yeah, we have yeah, yeah. without time. her the chat would not be the chat no, so it, ma mama we love you we yeah. love you millions baby yeah thank you thank you for all you do <clears throat> and last but not least yes he's had a great weekend of uh, streaming uh, and he does regular clone every weekend and that it's amazing that he's still got the energy to do it and still be on this afterwards yeah. kind of thing. But my good friend, Fuzz, Yeti, Yeti Fuzz, Fuzzy Yeti, Yeti Fuzz. <laughs> yes, uh, <laughs> Yeti, if you'd like to sh shut yourself out, mate, please, please do for what you've done. Yeah, man. I mean, uh, big up to you, Budgie. Big love, man. Big love, man. Thank you for saying that about what I do at the weekends and stuff like that. It's massively appreciated to get some love in it's that It's massively respect. appreciated this side too, brother. Mm. Yeah, I love you to bits, man. And uh, it's been great being on with all you guys after, you know, what's gone on at the weekend, stuff like that. Uh, my channel is Long Age Yeti's Cave. If you're thin-skinned or can't take anything, then don't bother. Don't bother yeah. coming in if you don't like the unicorn talk and all that kind of stuff. Because yeah. I always See talk you know, it real. I'm gone. I'll always, <laughs> I'll always speak it real at the end of the day. So if you don't like that, then don't sub to me because there'll be no point because you won't be able to handle what I've got to say. So That's yeah. It. Big up, long eared Yeti's Cave, Forest fan, Forest till the end. Thank Absolutely. you. Absolutely. <clears throat> and no, it's been a pleasure having you guys on and that. And Jack, it's good to return for you as well, mate. Um, Evil Union and Issues, uh, it's been good to mm -hmm. on the show as well. Cheers, mate. Uh, mate. Shout out to the, yeah. and uh, yeah, as always. Uh, and, and, you know, Budgie's already alluded to it. Our, our chat is, is always great to have these people on board. Mm. They make it what it is, and um, yeah, he knows that from his own self with with his weekend shows. We can't do without these people, and we, you know, the banter from is, my is own unreal. self, from my own self, <laughs> from your <laughs> own <laughs> self. <laughs> he, you won't believe how much money this man's got to pay all these people in his chat. It's unbelievable, it really is. <laughs> Jake's in the phone. <laughs> 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 but no, it's it's been good. I mean, as you know, um, on Wednesdays, uh, me, Fuzzy, and Anthony Herbert will be back to do the good, the bad, and the ugly. You mean the ugly, the ugly, the ugly, the ugly, the ugly, and the Herbert? Who's going to get the ugly this week, though, Tone? It's got to be you and it, surely. <clears throat> Mate, <clears throat> just look at them. They're all ugly as fuck. So, I mean, they can all have it, to be fair. <laughs> Not like me. I mean, I'm an Adonis, you know. <laughs> well, we we kind of we kind of got that. We kind of got that. Well, that's why he won Mr. Nottingham Thanks, 2024. <laughs> that's not that difficult, Jack. That really, it's not that difficult. <laughs> oh, it don't man. matter. Subscribe, the trophy's a trophy. and you will get naked pictures of that <laughs> man, man, win. Up on the top left there. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to take off there. But no, um, yeah, Budgie, I'm, you know, we're, I'll, I'll kind of work out who's going to be where on, on uh, Wednesday. It's going to be, yeah, who goes in the ugliest side of things. 
I think you're right. It probably will be me again. Claret and blue. That's that's where the ugliest is. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. We fight out whatever way, regardless. But um, no, guys, thanks for being in, in the show today and for the panel. As always, been brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Great mm. show, good oh, laughs. Awesome. And awesome. that's what it's all about. So, as always, for Arsenal fans, unfortunately, it wasn't their weekend. I'm not going to be there. Soon. <laughs> 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 What's that message, um, Jez? Oh, <laughs> oh, no, no. Unfortunately, Jez was hoping to be on the show, but I'm, you know, I think if you look at it, um, no doubt. That good job. He's not, drunk it all away. It's probably a meltdown <laughs> at the moment, anyway. Any, uh, you know, and uh, yeah, he was on an emergency stream. <laughs> <laughs> that's a, that's a, if, if you're a United fan, that's a weekly show. You have more emergency streams than the COVID press conference. I think if you look at it, you're going to probably see a few Arsenal channels. Um, <laughs> It just got a love budget, absolutely. Oh, no, he's, he's awesome. <clears throat> he's fucking yeah. quality. Mm, I think quality. you're going to find a lot of Arsenal channels being um, cancelled <laughs> with the, probably all the swearing explained. They've got the passport stamps on. ready. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so anyway, guys, let's just say goodbye on that and we'll see you all next time. Thanks very much for being on the show. Take care for now. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.